Hello and welcome, welcome to Pokemon White here with the Forever Lock Challenge. Hello everybody, hello Laura, hello Starchamp, how's it going? Uh, I'm so excited you guys, I'm so excited. This is this has been the one that I've been waiting for for so long now, I'm so very excited. Oh hey there Hero Kitty, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, happy to have everybody here. Um, I hope that you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Um, yeah, as I said, we're here uh, with Pokemon White, uh, the 20th playthrough. Holy cow, you guys, this is insane. This is literally the 20th playthrough in a row. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately. Holy cow. Um, yeah, no, it's exciting stuff. We're, uh, we're, we're back here in my favorite, my favorite region. Um, we're playing Pokemon White. It's very exciting stuff. I'm so, so ready. I'm so, so ready for it. Uh, Laura says, did we win or lose heart gold? Um... I guess, I guess, spoilers in case anybody wanted to catch the VOD, maybe step out for just a second. Um, sadly, Laura, we did in fact lose Heart Gold. <laughs> it was a shame. On Lance, to be clear. We we got two Lance, um, but we, we lost to Lance, uh, sadly. <laughs> very, very sadly. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, Hero Kitty says, uh, for the question of the day, I like the normal ones more. Hey, nice. Nice, Hero Kitty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, today's question of the day is, do you prefer the original black and white or their sequels more? So yeah, definitely. Uh, would love to hear what you guys have to say about that. But uh, yeah, it was a big old oof, Laura. Uh, it was unfortunate. Um, it was really what, 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 what killed us the most, unfortunately, was the fact that um, our answer for Lance was Gastrodon. And the Gastrodon sadly went down to a random explosion from Koga's Fortress. Uh, so once once we no longer had that Gastrodon available to us, uh, it was it was sort of downhill from there. We did we did go down swinging though. We we managed to get down to where Lance only had two Dragonites left, um, and that was it. Like we took out everything else on his team with just what we had. So I mean. It is what it is. Anyways, enough of enough of heart gold. We're here for Pokemon White. Let's do the thing. Uh, naturally, um, the the playthrough has already been pre-made. I've already got a save file going uh, for the uh, uh, trainer ID purposes, of course. Um, so that is um, that is the name of the game here. So we've already gotten started here. So I've already done the intro bit and all that junk. Um, but all that's all that's happened is just Bianca and Sharon have shown up at my house. Professor Juniper has dropped off a lovely, lovely present for us, and we are going to be picking it up. Um, so, of course, we jump right into starter selection in this game, which is always super, super fun. Um, it's kind of crazy. The the poll ha was insane um, as far as, like, people voting for two particular options. Um, it is, I will, what I will say is that the final result, as of as of me um, disabling the poll in the Forever Lock Discord, which, by the way, if you have not already joined the Forever Lock Discord, you should definitely do that. Uh, it's where we track all of our progress. It's where we it's where we do a lot of cool stuff like, you know, for example, doing polls to determine our starters and stuff like that. Um, so definitely check out the, uh, the... I have updated the link for the Forever Lock Discord uh, on my panel and also in, if you use the command, uh, exclamation Discord. They should all work now. <laughs> we had some issues yesterday where, where uh, a, a lovely new friend tried to join us and, uh, and they couldn't because apparently my link had expired or some junk. Should be fixed now. Um... But in any case, in any case, the poll was sadly inconclusive. Uh, we have a we have a two-way tie uh, between Tepig and Oshawott. It is uh, there was five votes for each, <laughs> which um, I mean it's it's, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of it's uh, basically what that means. Uh, this doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, uh, it literally just comes down to a coin flip at that point. I, I have a I have a fancy coin that I keep keep near me, um, so I'm yeah I'm literally gonna grab this grab this coin real fast. And I'm going to flip it. Um, obviously, you guys can't see it because I don't have like cam or anything, but um, you'll just have to take my word for it. Uh, if it lands on heads, then I'm going to go with Oshawat, and if it lands on tails, I'm going to go with Tepic. Um, so yeah, here we go. It is tails. So we will be going with Tepic, as I said. I'm not gonna lie, kind of really excited about that. <laughs> kind of really excited about that. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Oshawa. I love Oshawa as much as the next person, but um, I am I'm really pumped for Tepig. You guys know I like pigs. <laughs> you guys know I like pigs. Yay, little piggy friend. Here we go. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. I love Tepig. I really do. I really do. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon, Charon. That one's yours. 
Hey, how come you get to pick out my ha pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Oshawott from the start anyway. Uh, Hero Kitty says my brother picked Tepig, so I'll so I'll, I'll like this run if it doesn't end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I love Tepig. Uh, Pig Knight happens to be in my literal top five favorite Pokemon in general, so I love the I love the Tepig line. I really do. Uh, incidentally, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this Tepig. I'm going to declare it as our Embor, I think. Um, yeah. yeah, I think that seems like a good a good pick. We'll go we'll go for the fully evolved Mon this time around. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Everyone has a chosen Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Don't be a worry, Ward. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled, Lids. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Let's go, Bianca. Oh, I'm so excited for Unova, you guys. I really am. I really, really am so, so excited for the Unova region. <laughs> I've been I've been waiting I've been waiting uh, I feel the uh, we unfortunately lost our Pokemon Black playthrough several playthroughs ago and uh, then we lost we lost Black two in like one of the most awkward fashions possible so I'm just excited to be back in in Unova to give it like another proper go you know what I mean <laughs> it's like very exciting stuff but uh, yeah here we go got a lovely little lovely little Tepig. Admittedly, it would have been kind of cool if we got the girl Tepig, but that's okay. Only a little little baby chance of that, so that is all right. That is all right. Uh, Hero Kitty asks, "How did I lose Black Two? Uh, I lost because of the Pokemon World Tournament. Um, I, I I lost as a result of not having my full team with me, and also um, just some shenanigans, <laughs> some like some really bad RNG shenanigans. Uh, it was just it was just a really awkward like way that it happened." Um, just because, like, we basically, basically we lost by a, via a technicality, um, which was super, super unfortunate. But it is what it is. We move in on from it. We know to be a lot more careful in the Pokemon World Tournament whenever we get to, uh, whenever we get to White 2. Uh, certainly. Most certainly. Alright, and there goes my room. Wah, wah. Wow, Liz, you're going to be an awesome trainer someday. I can tell. No doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? W whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, I'm um, sorry about your room, Lids. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Lids, your, Liz's Pokemon needs needs to be fixed up too. Uh, Hero Kitty says I still think Reshiram is better than Zekrom, but just but that's just what I think. They're both pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm 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 sort of um I'm, I'm invested in both of them. I think I like Reshiram a little bit better as well. Uh, I just I like the floof and like the the cool. It kind of has like a I don't know a really nice looking face. Uh, Zekrom is just fine, but it's just like edgy. It's like just edgy, and that's like that's like kind of all it is in my opinion. Like it's it's cool, but it's just it's just sort of edgy black and red dragon. But I don't know. Shrug. <laughs> I'm I'm indifferent towards both of them in like in general in general terms. So, but if I had to pick, it would be Rashiram, definitely. I started with Pokemon Black. That was the first first Unova game I ever got. So I guess I'm sort of sort of partial to that one. All right, we will of course nickname our little little baby Tepig, but it doesn't let you do that until you get to Professor Juniper's lab. So we will get there. We will get there. Start coming up with your best uh, your best Embor names. I am open to suggestions, certainly. Hey, keep keep doing your tail whip game, Sharon. That's fine. Uh, here, Kitty says the shinies are still so bad. Uh, so badly done. I don't know why they didn't just make the shinies themselves from the start and then just switch the colors of these dragons. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's interesting for certain. Um, I rather I rather like I rather like each of them being being the colors that they are like natively. Uh, I don't actually fully recall what their shinies look like. If I'm being honest with you, uh, I don't do a whole lot of shiny uh, shiny hunting or anything like that. So um, th th there's also the fact that I've the most interaction that I've had with uh, with Reshiram and Zekrom are in this game, and Zekrom and Reshiram are shiny locked in this game, so that's a 
That's kind of a factor. Oh, look at our Wii. Oh, this is great. It's a Wii console. It's not even Scratch. Nice. Pokemon know to respect the Wii. Po Pokemon, all the, the little baby, little baby beginner Pokemon know to respect my Nintendo Wii. I paid like $20 for that at a Goodwill. <laughs> I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to pro meet Professor Juniper? Yes, th er, yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait, I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. Ah, so cute. So cute. I, like, uh, there really is just so much to appreciate about, like, the fact that these... Like, there's, like... Those are that's like a real interaction, right? Like that's like if people come over and then they trashed my room, they would probably like feel really awkward going and talking to my mom about it, right? Like that's just a, it's such a real like I don't know. I, I love this game. I really do. It's so flavorful. I can hear the Pokemon's cries clear to, clear down here. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Thanks, ma'am. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. Yeah, it's don't don't forget you guys. It's not an X transceiver. It's a cross transceiver. It's very important. Very important that they felt the need to spell it out for us so we don't get confused. <laughs> there it is, the cross transceiver. You're going to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. You got it, mom. Thanks. All right, here we are. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Unova. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, you guys. I really am. <laughs> I am so very excited. Oh, I gotta put Tepig on the layout. Hold on, hold on. This is important. This is this is important. Tepig in slot one. Ba bam. Oh, look at the little baby. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. No, no, a thousand times no. But, but I'm I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally go on an adventure. Yeah, getting a Pokemon is the criteria for being a good trainer, isn't it? <laughs> you don't need any training. You just need to have a Pokemon. So, you know, step one, acquire a Pokemon. Good job, Bianca. You did it. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Okay. Yeah. Nice little, nice little B plot for the game. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Maxi says, "The Donkers." Oh, hi, Maxi. How's it going? That's that's me. <laughs> okay, let's go meet the professor. Uh, here, Kitty asks, "Do you have a picture of every Pokemon for the layout?" Yes, I do. I have um, I've I built a uh, lovely little um, control module in DOS. Uh, so I could basically, I could just type in whatever Pokemon name I want, and it'll automatically pop up in the slot that I want it to on the on the screen. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of it. Hi there. I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper? We know your name. Come, come, Sharon. Th this is not the time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so... Once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. That must have taken a long time, says here, Kitty. It did take a long time. Yeah, it took me. Oh God, it was. It's been so. Lo it's been so long since I did it. Now I, I hardly remember. I, I think it took me like two weeks. Two weeks to write all the scripting for it. Um, but yeah, like uh, I like I knew I knew like the principle of it wouldn't be that difficult as long as I could just get it all written out. Um, and yeah, so it's. Now it's it's super easy. I can just I can just add whatever whatever Pokemon I want to the layout. Um, everything between Bulbasaur and Calyrex. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle, so maybe that's why it feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Absolutely, I would. Absolutely, I would. Uh, what are we naming our lovely little Embor here? Do you guys have any suggestions? I am open to it. I am open to it. Uh, my my nickname, my typical nickname for the for the Tepig line, I usually I we already used sadly and sadly lost it. Uh, we had a pig knight named uh, Pork Chop, um, and sadly I will not be able to will not be able to, to recycle that one. Hot Beef, Oscar, these are good. These are good names. <laughs> Hot Beef, that's funny. 
Um, I did think about maybe naming him Ganon, but I feel like that's really, really cliche for a Zelda fan. Um, I don't know if that's a factor or not. Bacon is good. Bacon is really good. Um, flaming. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Piglet. Aw, oh, Piglet. That's cute. I think I'll, I'll, pro I'll probably save Piglet for, for like a baby, though. Like This is going to be an Embor, to be clear. This is going to be the fully evolved Embor. Um, so, yeah. Uh, honestly, Bacon's pretty good. Um, maybe, maybe I can expand on it a little bit. How about, like... How about, like, Bacon Wrap? <laughs> bacon Wrap. That looks good. Yeah. I think I think I like this. I think I think I like bacon wrap. Thanks everybody for the suggestions. Uh, this will be bacon wrap. Uh in D in D for I don't I don't I've never seen my hero academia, Laura, so I, I don't know the I don't know the reference. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> That's pretty good, Star Champ. I like that. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna go with bacon route here. Let me write down that we actually got the embor here real fast. Embor, so I can update the Discord. Uh, okay, cool. Bacon wrap. Bacon wrap is its name. It's such a great name. Uh, is it though, Jennifer? Aren't you concerned? You should be concerned. <laughs> As for why I gave you all Pokemon, it's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I'm astonished. Nice work, Charon. You have already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything for the beginning, from the beginning, for everyone's sake. Uh, Laura says, search him on Google and you'll understand the reference. Ah, cool. Uh, we'll do, Laura. We'll do. I am curious. I am very curious. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Let's, Charon, Bianca, you'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Of course I will. Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I could become a Pokemon trainer, exactly as I always wished. All of you, thanks. You've given me the best possible answer. Yay, we get ourselves a lovely... I love that the girl gets the pink Pokedex. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just one of those silly things. They don't ever tell you that, you know, like, the, the boy gets the red Pokedex, the girl gets the pink Pokedex, but whenever I see it, I'm just like, teehee. <laughs> All right. Next, I need to teach you how to meet a Pokemon. Please meet me on Route One, okay? Oh yeah, we, yeah. We don't know how to meet a Pokemon. We gotta go. We gotta go get ourselves learned. We gotta get ourselves learned on some Pokemans. S since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I like that. Of course, we can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's my mom. Come on, Lids, wait up! Oh, there you are. And what did Professor? What did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. Well, wow. wow, you're a, you're a, you're way to way to feign surprise, mother. I I like to think that like she's like really excited. She's like, you guys are going on an, on an adventure. Have a good adventure. And then she just like kind of like kicks back with like a like a twelve pack of beer. She's just like. Oh, I can finally relax a little bit. <laughs> this town is very small. <laughs> uh, it's just funny to me. That's why I brought three of you these town maps. Take them with you. Uh, Star Tips says, oh my gosh, it's your hot... I, she's, like, stupidly pretty. Like, way prettier than she, like, really needs to be for, like, the mom character. Like, people can have pretty moms, sure, but, like, it's just... They, I feel like they went really over the top with her. Especially, like, we'll see her later whenever she calls us on the uh, on the cross transceiver. But, like, yeah, she's, like, actually kind of gorgeous. It's, it's kind of stupid. She looks like she could be, like, our sister. <laughs> Th thank you so much. As for your room, Lids, or what's left of it, no need for you to worry. I'll take care of tidying up. Okay, Lids? Ah, Pokemon. They're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They really are something. And Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. Uh, Star Tim says, Delia Ketchum was pretty. She's her I mean, Delia is very, very pretty. She is very, very pretty. That is certain. That is for certain. 
Uh, Ash's Ash's nameless, uh, visualless uh, father is a lucky lucky man, maybe, or he's dead. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's go, let's go, Lids. Hurry and come too, okay? Okay. I can do that. Let's go up here. Uh, ideally, I want to try and get through Route 1 without having to get any Pokemon encounters. Uh, we are going to get the tutorial. Uh, Professor Juniper is going to give us Pokeballs um, and all that. But if if I'm if I play my cards right, I would really, really like to not get the encounter until we get to the PC. Because um, <laughs> I have obviously I have Pokemon transferred in. Uh, from previous playthroughs, as 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 we do here, um, so I, I want to be able to add the Pokemon that I want to the team because they have to auto add. Um, I want to add the Pokemon I want to the team, not the. Um, I don't want to have to add whatever we catch on Route One to the team. Ideally, that, that that's best case scenario. If we if we run into something that we can catch, we have to catch it. But I digress. Anyways, Professor Juniper is going to teach us how to catch a Patrat. Maxi says Ash is his own father. Lol. I don't know about that, Maxi. <laughs> is, it, is it like uh like went back in time and had sex with his own grandmother? <laughs> it's like 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 that episode of Futurama. Uh, Here, Kitty says, or it's like Star Wars. He doesn't have a father, but he got created. Yeah, he he was um he was created in in Professor Oak's lab. I had canon that. You sell me time travel theory, yo. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty funny. I don't know. It is it is weird, right? That they've gone like how long has that anime been out? Like since like ninety eight? Like they've gone like over twenty years. Over twenty years without telling us who Ash's father is. Or like, you know, his relevance to anything. All we know is he's a trainer, and that's it. <laughs> Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that still have their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you. Some Pokeballs. Yay, we got Pokeballs. So yeah, Nuzlocke has officially started. Um, like I said, if if we can at all help it, I would like to get through this route without catching anything yet. Yo, Richie is Ash's dad. Yo, Richie, Richie's not actually a kid. He's just He's just looks really, really young. Like he has like... um. He has that one, that one condition. I forget what it's called, where you like look super, super young, even though you're like 30 or 40. <laughs> I look forward. I'm looking forward to getting to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Liz, Charon. I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you just listen us act seriously? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from the professor, is the winner. Huh, actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up the Pokedex pages, so I'm sure that it will please the Professor, too. Okay, then, until we reach Accumula Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Snivy will do the best for sure. Uh, Hero Kitty says, I, I heard a theory that uh, Oak is his father. Uh, that is that is a very prominent theory. I've heard that one as well, Hero Kitty. Okay. Patch number one is good. Can we get through the second patch without bumping into anything? Um, to be clear, I did double check. We do have Lillipup. Hurtier and um, Stoutland all accounted for. Um, so if we run into that, we're fine. If we run into... Oh, damn it. That was the one thing I didn't want. Uh, all right. Um, so we, don't, we do not have a Watchog, uh, which means that we absolutely have to add this to the team <laughs> uh, as a Watchog. Uh, that is super unfortunate. Uh, not that there's anything particularly wrong with Watchog. It's a fine enough Pokemon. It just kind of... Uh, Kind of screws my, uh, kind of screws my, uh, my, my, my plans. Uh, Hero Kitty says, "Can you keep legendary?" Yeah, yeah, we can keep legendaries. Uh, yeah, we have. Um, I don't know if we have any in Gen Five right now. I don't know if we have any in Gen Five right now, but in Gen Four, we've just got like Giratina and a Darkrai chilling. So yeah, no, like legendaries are fine. Um, we can't add them to the team until uh, we meet certain criteria, though. We're not allowed to add Pokemon from previous playthroughs unless their level is equal to or under the level of the next upcoming gym leader or is equal to or under the level of the highest level Pokemon we've acquired in the current playthrough. So those are those are the criteria for adding previous uh, previous um, previous gen Pokemon or previous playthrough Pokemon. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, we're going to try and catch this Patrat. I hate that it's level 2 as well. That's so, super lame. That's okay. That is okay. We will catch a lovely Patrat. It will be a Watchhog, which we do not have. And it will be great. It will be great. Stay in this ball. Stay in this ball, Patrat.
Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Our first our first catch of the playthrough. Very nice, very nice. And that will be a watch hog. Uh, I am open to watch hog nickname suggestions. Um, I have no idea what to name it. I have no idea what to name it whatsoever. A male, male watch hog. Oh, hey there, Pingu. Watson? That's going to make me think of the gym leader, Pingu. It's not a horrible name. It's just going to make me think of the gym leader. Uh, Lurk says Scout. Scout's not bad. Uh, here kid says Rolex. Maxi says Baloney. These are all these are all cute names. I, I, so far, Scout is kind of speaking to me. I do like that. I do like that. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> I like. I really like the simplicity of that one. <laughs> uh, that for for whatever reason, like those really simple, like just regular people names. They just like, just oh yeah, it's Tom. Of course, of course it's Tom. Who else would it be? <laughs> yeah, I think I like that actually. <laughs> I uh, yes, peeping Tom. Oh, I get it. That's actually cute. Oh, I like that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. It literally, it's not only like simplistic looking, but it's also sort of a reference, or not a reference, but like a, it, it like, when you think about it, it makes sense because he's a peeper. He's a peeper. He's peeping. He's peeping Tom. Oh, that's cute. I like it. <laughs> uh, thanks everybody for the discussion. I'm going to go with Tom. We have Tom the Patrat on the squad. On the squad. Let me throw that on there. Beautiful, beautiful. Don't worry, Pingu. I'm sure you'll get to, you. First off, you've gotten to name so many Pokemon, Pingu. And second, I'm sure I'm sure that that you'll be naming plenty more, Pingu. So don't you don't you fret, my friend. There is so many opportunities for more Pokemon names. How about it, Litz? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? Yes. Yeah, it's Charon. Yeah, Charon's pretty great, Pingu. Seems the number of Pokemon Liz has is two. We all have the same number, then. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumulate Town. The Professor is waiting. The Cross Transceiver is ringing. My word. Hey, hey, girl. How you doing? Hello. How's everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor. Right now, I'm in front of the Accumulator Towns. Uh, I'm in front of. Oh my God, I can't read. I can't read, everybody. <laughs> right now, right now, I'm in front of Accumulator Towns Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry, hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right? Okay, see you. Well, I'm going on ahead. Okay, Charon. Well, I'm gonna follow you. So how about that? All right, into the Pokemon Center we go. We have we have we have enough Pokemon left over from previous playthroughs to literally fill up the team. So I'm just I'm anxious to I'm anxious to get into it. Uh, this is good stuff, you guys. This is good stuff. I've been looking forward to this playthrough. I really have. I really really have. I really like Unova. <laughs> Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Okay, let's start your tour. Oh, wait for me. A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pingus is funny that he sounds British because I'm half English. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been explicitly trying to make him British or anything, but I, I, I do kind of... When you're doing, when you're doing like goofy voices on stream, it's sometimes an easy... It's an easy one, especially for us Americans, to slip into. Um, but yeah. Starchant says, I think Gen 5 added the most legendaries and mythical. I think... I don't know about legendaries, but mythicals, I think you're right. Um, unless unless you count mythicals as legendaries, then maybe. But I think it did add the most mythicals in, in one in one sitting. Uh, Pingu says, so, uh, so basically Charon is an unintended Pingu reference voice-wise for this playthrough. Oh, okay, yeah. See, there you go, Pingu. That's 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 the way that you could look at it then. <laughs> uh, Maxi says, what's the name of this professor? Uh, her name is Professor Juniper, Maxi. Yeah, Juniper. Uh, Starchy says, "You know, it makes sense that Univas, uh, that Univans could have had, could have a new English accent." Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that, it does make sense, Starcham. It does make sense. Maybe he, uh, maybe he was born. No, no, they say he was born in this town. Maybe his parents were. Maybe his parents are from Galar, um, and that's why he has an accent. So, because he just, that's just, he, he was around his parents growing up, of course. So, like, he, he just, he just adopted the, the British accent. <laughs> maybe I'll lean further into it now. Good question. I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. 
All right. Good stuff. Now this is the Pokemon. I know what a Pokemon is. Thank you, thank you, Professor Juniper. Let's uh, let's let's pick up the pace here a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeball are definitely important. Um, thinking. All right, you guys. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, Pingu says, "I think I'd be a Galarian immigrant who moved to Unova." Heck yeah! Heck yeah, Pingu. Let's check out. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh yeah, so yeah, we got plenty of plenty of Pokemon in here from from previous playthroughs. I, there's definitely some items that I'm excited about being able to use. Uh, but in any case, I have gone ahead and set set in the um, set in Pokemon that are fully available to us. Uh, to be clear, once again, the the rule is that I can use any Pokemon from previous playthroughs that are equal to or under the level of the next upcoming gym leader. Which in this case would be the first gym leader, which is Crest, Chili, or Silent. In our case, it'll be it'll be Crest. Um, their ace Pokemon is level 14, which means that that is the highest level Pokemon that we are able to add to the squad right off the bat. Um, so, uh, as such, I have gone ahead, I, the, all these guys are in, in order by level. I, do, I usually do that beforehand. So, um, we are actually good to use anyone from this Patrat all the way down. Um, and based on what we've got going on here, I think what we're going to do, so we have... Once again, another Forever Lock uh, challenge rule is that three out of our six Pokemon have to be capable of evolving when they enter the Hall of Fame, and one of those three has to be capable of evolving twice. So what we're probably going to do here is uh, I'm going to add, this is actually a carryover from our previous playthrough, a Heart Gold. This is the Eevee we got from Bill in Heart Gold. Uh, it is uh, slated to become a Leafeon. So I think that for our fully evolved Pokemon on the squad, we're going to do Embor, Watchog, and Leafeon. So there we go. I can add an Eevee to the squad. It, it actually works out very well because um, you, we actually have access to the moss, the moss rock, the thing that evolves Eevee. Uh, it's in Pinwheel Forest, like right off the bat. So all we have to do is beat the second gem and we'll be able to get a Leafeon, which is pretty dang cool. Um, so yay, uh, I can go ahead and add Eevee to the layout here. Eevee in slot three. Very good. Okay, and then, so, yeah, looking at the rest of uh, Ideally, if we had managed to get through the grass without getting the encounter, I wanted to add uh, this P-Dove here because it, it would be an unpheasant, which would be kind of decent, honestly. Um, also has really good moves. Uh, but sadly, sadly, we uh, did not quite um, did not quite make it through the grass without running into that Watchhog. So since we're doing the since we're doing the Eevee uh, and we have the Embor, we, uh, we sadly cannot add the P-Dove. Uh, but that is okay. Uh, we will instead be adding uh, these these lovely friends here. Um, we're going to do uh, Ginger, also carried over from Heart Gold. Um, Ginger the Snubble here, with some pretty decent moves on it, all things considered. So some nice nice stuff to have in the early game, and level 13 as well. So nice and nice and strong, nice and strong. Um, so we'll be adding Snubble. We're also going to be adding. I, I, I guess I'll just do them all at once instead of one by one. Uh, we're going to be adding uh, Duchess here, who is a Purloin. To, uh, to be clear, Snubble is a Snubble, not a Granbull. Duchess here is a Purloin. And then the Pokemon that is capable of evolving twice will be uh, Kazuma here. Kazuma the Machop. Um, so there we go. There is a full squad of Pokemon. Uh, let me go ahead and add the remaining team members here to the layout. We'll put on Snubble into slot four. There we go. Um, we'll put in Purloin. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Purloin. Can I spell it? Apparently I cannot spell Purloin. <laughs> purloin. Oh my god, how do you spell it? <laughs> Good gravy. I don't know how to spell you guys. But it is, it is admittedly one of the ones that always trips me up. Okay, per, per two R's. Got it. That's where I was That's where I was going wrong. Purloin. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We have a Purloin. And then lastly, a Machop into slot six very good so yeah there is our there is our initial squad looking looking pretty solid i gotta say it's not it's not too bad not too bad they'll be it'll definitely be better once we get the um once we get the the eevee evolved i think it'll have some nice type variety in the meantime we do have a lot of normal types on the on the team but that is okay that is okay there we go so let us let us proceed from here of course we're going to want to prioritize oh actually there's one other important facet that we gotta gotta keep in mind um 
I have some items from our from our previous Gen 5 playthroughs to go ahead and grab, and I definitely want to grab them, including some really, really good ones. Uh, not the least of which is the Lucky Egg, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, but yeah, let's see here. We've got the Rocky Helmet. Very good. That'll be that'll be useful. We've got the Eviolite, also incredibly useful. A Firestone, in case we need it, I suppose. I suppose we could theoretically. I mean, it, we have the capability to 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 um <laughs> to evolve the Eevee into a Flareon, but we're not going to, obviously. Uh, experience share, also huge. Magnet, uh, not really going to use that, I don't think. Miracle Seed. Let's see what else. What else? We've got the Amulet Coin. Some good items here. Some good items. Poison Barb. Soft sand. And to be clear, the reason that we're able to do this is because uh, the Forever Lock rules permit us to uh, transfer items between generation playthroughs. So, for example, anything, any item we get in Gen 5 is locked to Gen 5. Um, we can uh, we can transfer items between playthroughs as long as we have Pokemon to hold them. So that's the important part. As long as we have Pokemon that can hold the items, they're able to be transferred. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, Twisted Spoon. Ah, yes, the Lucky Egg. Very, very good. Very, very good. The Leftovers. Yet another fantastic, fantastic one to have. Scope Lens. Oh, this is the good stuff. This is all the good stuff here. And then Mystic Water. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so very good. Very good. We have a, we have a nice variety of, of really good items here. Uh, I'm definitely going to be abusing the hell out of that Lucky Egg so that we can get levels left and right. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and give Tom the experience share for now because it's a little low on level um uh, i don't want to i don't really want to spend time grinding especially since we have such powerful pokemon here um i'll definitely i'll definitely just focus on getting uh bacon wrap and cowboy uh level leveled up here and then tom will will get caught up naturally S same with duchess i'll probably uh swap the experience share between the two of them um and yeah we've got uh, we've got coverage all around it's pretty good it's pretty stinking good uh, let's give Bacon Wrap the Lucky Egg for now, since we're gonna prioritize. Actually, should I put should I put Cowboy out front? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. It has Iron Tail, which is fun. Uh, that is pretty fun. Uh, and Protect, which is potentially useful. But uh, I think I'll I think I'll do Bacon Wrap for now. Um. Yeah, let me. Lucky Egg, Bacon Wrap, and then we'll put. I think we'll put an Eviolite on Ginger. We'll put a Rocky Helmet on Cowboy. And I think we'll put a Scope Lens on Duchess. And then uh, Kazuma we will give... How about the leftovers? That seems reasonable for now. That seems reasonable for now. Yeah, very good items to have early on. Uh, always one of the more exciting uh, early early game aspects of the challenge is just being able to, <laughs> being able to like, just have some like really really good stuff early on. Always always speeds up the beginning process as well, which is kind of cool. Hold on, we're, we're I think we get into a mandatory fight with N here, so I need to make sure I'm like actually ready. I think I'm ready for this. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be. Seems perfectly reasonable. Oh, I kind of want. I want Tepic to level up before we actually fight. Hold on. Let me, let me, I will grind one level with, with Tepic just so I can hopefully get Ember. I think it gets it at level seven. So I'm going to do that real quick. Just really, really fast. Shouldn't take long at all. Like maybe like one or two battles. Come on, Bacon Wrap. I just want you to, I want you to have some stab to work with. Level seven. Ember. Perfect. And yeah, Tom gets level three. Very good. We will take it. We will take it. Yeah, the lucky egg. The lucky egg will help a lot. Definitely, definitely, definitely will. Heal up real quick, and then we will. I think I will actually put. Um, I think I will actually put the Eevee out front. I think I will. Take that lucky egg. I'll be careful though, just because I don't. I don't want Eevee to get taken out by by uh, in purloin. So. Let's see, what do I want what do I want Tepic to be holding in like the off time? Um Did I do two Rocky Helmets? I don't think I meant to I Oh no no, I just I just put that Rocky Helmet back in my bag. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Hold on. Um Uh oh Espionator, how's it going? Espionator says can't wait for you to teach Tepic HMO2 fly What? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
I can't do that. Tepix... Oh, wait a minute. I see what you did there, Espinator. I'll teach Tepic HMO2 when pigs fly. Ha 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 You're so clever. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey there, Secret Boss Sauce. How's it going? Uh, Laura says I have to go now. Might come back later if you're still alive. Hey, uh, no worries, Laura. If you're able to come and stop by, I hope that uh, we have some fun. Um, but yeah, so uh, I guess I'll just give it the amulet coin for now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, SPS says, uh, oh, you went with Tepic. Yeah, it, it came down to the wire, SPS. I literally had to do a coin flip. Um, it was it was, it was was 50-50 split between Tepig and Oshawott. So, yeah, kind of crazy. All right, let's put, uh, let's put Eevee out front real fast. Espinator says, super tired, to be honest. Just got back from my flight from Nashville. Oh, crazy, crazy. I, I, I get it. Yeah, those, uh, uh, flights are, flights are always very, very exhausting processes for certain. Well, I hope you had a good time in, in Nashville. Uh, SPS says, man, fighting bodies this, this team hard. I know, right? It's, yeah, it's just a whole, it's a whole big old, whole big old gaggle we got going on here. Let's come here a sec. Yo, it's Team Plasma. <clears throat> oh gosh, I gotta do my Getsis voice. It's been a while. My name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They, sit, they get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Yikes, I don't know. No way! Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that can contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? Liberation? What could it be? That's right. We must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end, up, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Okay, bye. I love their, like, formation here. It's so great. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. Fun times, fun times. Who doesn't love a, love, uh, a good Team Plasma? <laughs> older man. Yo, this guy's older, though. He's, 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 he, I, was, I would call him old, not older. Older is relative. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. There we go. There we go. The deed has been done. Also, hello. How's it going, in? <laughs> Your Pokemon, just now it was saying... Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Charon, and this is Lids. We were asked, we were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. Our ma my main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So you're going to combine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer too, but I can't help but wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Lids, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Uh, Starships is such a good villain plan. Uh, honestly, it's not terrible for uh, you know for a, for a Pokemon game. It's it's kind of decent. He's he, he wants to bamboozle people into releasing their Pokemon so he can take over the world when they don't have anything to defend themselves. That's I don't know. It's it's certainly a lot more clever than you know evil bad guys do evil things, so, I don't know, shrug, it's kind of cool. Alright, so here's the purloin, um, I hit it with an iron tail, just cause I can, <laughs> just cause I can, get him cowboy, oh we missing though, not off to a good start there cowboy, come on, put your glasses on, ba bam, okay yeah, probably gotta switch, <laughs> probably gotta switch, I had a feeling I probably would have to, but that's okay. That's okay. Out to out to bacon wrap.
Oh god, I love the I love the freaking sound font that they use in these games. It's just it's like super super. Whenever I hear it, I'm just it's just like comfort to me. It just comforts me to hear this um, the way that this, the like music and sound sound in this game. It's just very 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 appealing to me as a as a huge Unova fan. So yeah, very good stuff. All right, Perloin goes down. Tom hits level four, very good. Tom hits level five, very good. <laughs> Uh, we could probably go ahead and give um, we could probably go ahead and give uh, the the experience share to Purloin now. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for my Pokemon because they're my friends. Okay, later, later, tree hugger. Huh, strange guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. That's the best way for a trainer to become stronger, is to challenge a gym leader in each area. Cool. See you later, Charon. All right, let's uh, let's hit that Pokemon Center one more time, real fast, and we'll do some we'll do some switching up on the team. I'm gonna be trying to take full advantage of items if I can, so bear with me if I kind of have to fiddle around with the menus a little bit. Uh, SPS says, "Are we getting a Machoke this time? Then no, uh, no Machoke this time. This this Machop is just a Machop. So, um." The, the, the current team team makeup is Embor, Watchog, Leafeon as our fully evolves, and then our unevolves are going to be Stubble, Purloin, and then the can evolve twice Pokemon is Machop. So there we go. There we go. That is that is the current team makeup there, SPS. Okay, so yeah, let me let me go ahead and pull the experience share off of you, and I'll give you something else. Uh, let's see, what do I want to give you? Uh, I guess the Rocky Helmet. It works. And then we'll give Duchess the experience share. All right. And then, yeah, let's uh, let us proceed forward. Um, we should be able to get plenty of encounters, honestly, uh, throughout this throughout this game for the most part. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's a lot of Unova Pokemon. There's a lot of Unova Pokemon in general, and I haven't caught a whole lot of them. So, uh, yeah, we I, I think we can get an encounter on this route. On the on hold on route two, what's available on route two even? Hold on, I gotta actually look it up. Uh, Starship says one of the things I wish the manga had done was tie in's ability to talk to Pokemon to Yellow's ability to do the same. Ooh, does, does Yellow the character Yellow have that ability? That's cool. I never knew that. I never knew that. That sounds awesome. I don't know. I don't know anything. I see. I've seen Yellow like the character, but I've never. I've never. I have no idea what what she's all about. I don't. I don't know a whole lot about her. Um, let's see here. Um, it does not look like there is... It looks like there's Purloin. Do we have a Lipard? Do we have a Lipard? I gotta check the Discord. Uh, we do not have a Lipard. Um, we have the full Lillipup line, and we now have the full Watchog line. Uh, yeah, uh, Purloin is the only other thing that we can catch here at present. So, uh, that is what we're doing. Uh, Star Trek says, I freaking love this town theme. Oh, you mean, um, Accumulatown? This one? Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Yeah, this is a nice, this is a nice theme. This is a nice one. I like that one. <laughs> I like all the music in Unova, though. To be fair, uh, I, uh, I I definitely have a lot of bias towards it. I just I I listen to every track in this game, and I'm just I'm just like, oh, this is amazing. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, but in any case, yeah. So the only thing that we can actually catch on this route is is Perline. Oh yo, it's time to look at our mom. It's time to look at her mom. Yo, look at her. She does not look like a mom. She looks like. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she could very easily be Hilda's sister there, but she's her mom. She's just she's just a very very pretty mom. What can I, what can what can I say? What can I say? Uh, sorry about that. Just had to fix something real fast. Uh, okay, Lids, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called, but I'm going to hang up via the cross transceiver now. Hey, mom, how's it going? <laughs> Lids. I finally caught up with you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you uh, that you were about to that you were probably headed for Striathan City by now. Uh, SBS says moms aren't allowed to look old, much like in the anime in other anime. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true, SBS. Uh, Starship says anyone born in Viridian Forest, like Yellow, have the ability to heal and talk to Pokemon. That's interesting. All right, all right, I see you. I have another present for you. Let's try these on. Yo, we get the running shoes. We can go fast now. 
When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the instruct. I don't. I know how to. I know how to run. Thanks. That's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Guess it's good to clean occasionally. Lids, you understand that you're never really alone, right? You're with your Pokemon. You have friends, and you're always in my thoughts. That's all. That's all right then. Enjoy your trip. Bye, mom. See you later. All right, into the grass we go. Okay, yep, Lillipup, we've got that full line. Like I said, uh, I have already checked. I've already uh, assessed that that is a, that is a thing that we have. But I might. I think I will fight it actually real fast. I might as well get those level ups where we can. Ooh, tackle strong though. Tackle kind of strong though. Now this lucky egg should definitely uh, increase the amount of uh, XP that we can get quite substantially, so that is pretty good. All right, another lily pup. We're not worried about it, but I will. I will iron tail it though. Okay. Yeah, temper yourself with that tackle though. That's kind of. It makes me a little bit nervous. Let me put. Oh, I don't have any potions. Oops, <laughs> I forgot to get potions. Oh well. All right, we switch. We switch. Get him, bacon wrap. Just, uh, just in this early game portion, especially like while some of my Pokemon are a little bit un under leveled, uh, definitely a good idea to get battles in where I can. Cowboy hits level six, very good. And Duchess hits level four. Uh, Starchin says, uh, as that as that colorful video game rodent says, must travel at high velocity. I, <laughs> oh, <laughs> got it. Gotta go fast. Got it. Took me a minute. Took me a minute to process that there, Star Champ. Yeah, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah, I keep accidentally hitting the speed up button. <laughs> it's a habit. It's a habit just because I, I played. I play the this. I've played black and white probably the most often in emulators than I've played any other games because I've just I've had it. I've had the ROMs dumped for years, um, and so I've I like whenever it's it's like a comfort game for me. Like I just like I just want to play something I know really well. I'll like break this out and then just and just play it and. You know, I'll use speed up usually, so it's like it's a hard habit to break. It's a very, very hard, hard habit to break. <laughs> uh, but yeah, real quick, I'm gonna go heal one more time just so we're prepared for this uh, this trainer battle. Uh, as soon as I as, as soon as I take out this Patrat, just wanna soak up a little bit more XP real fast. But uh, yeah, this is. Oh God, I've been I've been waiting for this one. I've been waiting for this one. Uh, don't be wrong, I've been having fun with Gen three, Gen four. Um, every, everything that we've had going up until this point, but I've been, I have been actually clamoring for, for, um, for, for the, re the golden return to the Unova region. Um, not quite as much as I was wishing to play in Hoenn, just because it had been so long since we played in Hoenn, but, um, it was definitely, definitely the next step. Uh, the next step down is like, I really, I was excited to, to come back and play Unova again. Really, really was. All right, let's get all healed up. Uh, we still haven't found our purloin, which is interesting. No purloins discovered yet, or rather, it'll be our life hard to be clear. But we will find it. We will find it. There it is. That's the one. All right, level five, level five purloin for us. Let's hit it with the iron tail. Perfect. That that ought to do the trick. And we'll grab ourselves this purloin for it to become our life hard. A little low on pokeballs, but that's okay. I think this is the last encounter that we have to worry about before um like like we won't have access to any more Pokemon after this one uh, until after the first gem, so we can we can buy some more Pokeballs after we've uh, accumulated a little bit more money. But yeah, here we go. We have ourselves a lovely Lipard, uh, a male Lipard. Does anybody have any nickname suggestions for this little kitty friend? I am all ears. Um, yeah, what do what do we call a Lipard? It's a little little purple little purple leopard. Um, hmm, what do I call you? That's a good question. First, I'll write down that I actually uh, caught a Lipard, just to have as a reference. <laughs> Perp-perp-loin. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see. What's what speaks to me? What speaks to me? Or, or it's Liepard, not Perloin. Per, uh, Liepard. It's a Liepard. Gonna be the evolved form. Garfield, Scotty. I do kind of like Scotty. Per hub. <laughs> I'm not calling it that, Maxi. <laughs> you goofball. Um, sus. <laughs> um. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Like it's like a dark type. I'm trying. I wanna. I kind of wanna go like some sort of like, like sinister angle. Espinator says Scotty is the name of my cat. Aw, that's cute. Aw, you know what? All right. <laughs> uh, that that was enough to convince me, Espinator. I'm gonna call it Scotty. We'll name it Scotty after Espinator's cat. I think that's cute. Yay, Scotty. Wonderful. Thank you for the suggestions, everybody. This will be this will be Scotty. Oh, tell 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 Scotty I said hi, Espinator. <laughs> Give him a give him a pet for me. Give give him a, a pet from the lids. <laughs> Griffle and Mocha Joe. Oh, these are all good names, you guys. These are all fantastic names. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that's done. Uh, let's let's fight this uh, fight this dude. Let's fight this dude with the Eevee. Yeah, yeah, I got, I think, I, I got, I got that much SPS. It is a decent name. I think, I feel like we do already have a, do we have a Pokemon named Sus? No, we have, we have a, we have, I know we have one named Sus Champ <laughs> because it was, a, it was, we were goofing around with Star Champ that day, I think. Um, I, I know we have a Pokemon that's an Among Us reference, but I don't remember what it is at the moment. Ooh, we missing our Iron Tail. Feels bad. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna switch. I'm just gonna switch. Gato. Ooh, Gato would have been good, too. Uh, Star Trek says, uh, but yeah, I love the music in this game. How can how how you can add instruments to the towns? It's so cool. Yeah, there, there's so much. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good. There's so many, like, cool ideas that they just kind of, like, they, they really did, like, just kind of fill this game up with as many, like, fun ideas as they possibly could. It's, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. I, I, I get to have, like, a very, very, like, um like, awesome sense of, like, nostalgia for this game, because not only did I play this game when it first came out, I went hard on this game when it came out. Like, I did all of the bonus stuff. Like, I did you guys ever do the Dream World stuff with, like, the Pokemon website? Because uh, I did. <laughs> I actually did Dream World stuff. So, like, I have, like, I have these experiences in my, in my arsenal that a lot of people one never did and two can now no longer have because the the service has been discontinued so it's just like it's just an, a very interesting feeling to like have these like memories with this game that like are like o like almost exclusive to be not exclusive obviously but like like you know like a lot of people didn't bother with that stuff and you know possibly didn't realize that they'd never get the opportunity to do it again in the future so it's just it's just really cool i really like it I get to feel like part of the cool kids club. It's great. It's great. Okay, so um, let's uh let's go ahead and pull the lucky egg off. Well, we'll give you the um, skill plans for now, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start using these two so that we can hopefully. I want to start getting my my level. Uh, you guys know that I like to level up like, um, you know, one Pokemon at a time. Um, so I want to get my I want to get my rotation started. So we'll put Duchess out front here. And uh, it'll be Duchess's turn for now. I really love Pokemon battles because my cute Pokemon will all, will do its best in a really cute way. As uh, Starchamp says, I got my copy the day they announced the shutdown of the system. Oh, that feels bad, Starchamp. <laughs> that feels really bad. Yeah, so you never got to do any of the Wi-Fi stuff either or Interlink. That's a shame. That's a shame. It was really cool. Like that was um, back in the day. Uh, the Dream World stuff was the only way to get Pokemon that had hidden abilities. Uh, it was really neat. It was like actually really really neat. Yeah, that does like no damage because we're not really friends yet. That makes sense. That makes sense, Duchess. Probably gonna switch on switch on this one, honestly, just because uh, we're not really doing a whole lot of damage here. We're getting growled at, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, out to bacon wrap once again.
We might do we might do just a pinch of grinding before we actually take on the first gym. Um, just because I do want to try and get my team like up to snuff uh, early on. The the sooner we get it like you know on par level wise with upcoming gym leaders, the sooner that we don't have to worry about possibly getting like swept later on. Uh, especially uh, getting bacon wrap up will be huge because it'll it'll give us um you know the potential to add Pokemon later if we need to um, from previous playthroughs. So we definitely want to make sure that bacon wrap stays nice and nice and healthy, nice and healthy little baby piggy. Ah, uh, I love it. All right, Duchess, it's level six. Warning, assist. Don't really care about assist. No, thank you. Okay. Luckily, with the lucky egg, the grinding should be relatively simple. All right, we'll give you... What, what other items are we utilizing right now? Is that really it? I guess so. All right, well, we will give... Let's see way to do this. Uh, I will take that. I will give you the lucky egg now. This is what kind of what I was talking about before, where we're going to be playing like musical items a lot, uh, just because I want to take full advantage of all of them. There's no reason not to, other than it's just a little tedious to switch items between, uh, between Pokemon, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's give Tom some love here. There's a level five purloin for us to fight. Uh, Tom, do you think do you got this? You just have tackle. You just have tackle. I'm gonna switch you. I'm gonna switch. Uh, might as well make this easier on ourselves. Might as well. Might as well. Out to bacon wrap. I'll fight. I'll fight this one purloin, and then I'll sk start skipping wild encounters until until it's actually time to grind. I know we have a Bianca fight that's about to happen, so definitely want to make sure we're ready for that. I don't remember what level her Pokemon would be at. We should be fine because we have like the level 13 Snubble and level 14 Machop, but still. Better to be safe than sorry. And we need to grind anyways. We're, we're going to need to grind up just a, just a pinch for the first gym anyways, so that is all right, I think. Okay. So yeah, let's, um, let's fight this guy. Well, we're going to run from whatever this is first. And then we'll fight this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Patrats. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There we go. Okay. Bring it on, Bucko. What you got for us? Lillipop, Lillipop, my Lillipop got what Pokemon do you guys think he has? I am, I am, I am unsure. Yo. Mind blown. Mind absolutely blown. It's level seven, so that's a little bit strong, but that's okay. We'll do just a little, a little pinch of lucky egg switch training. I'm into it. Bacon wrap should be able to handle it. Our lovely baby little Tepig. All right, give it the ember. I have uh, absolutely no idea how far we're gonna get today. Uh, I am completely unsure. I never did buy. Oh no, I, I, I picked up a potion. Okay, that's good. I should probably go back to Accumula Town and buy some potions too before we fight Bianca. That might that might come in handy. Um, yeah, as soon as this battle's over, I'll probably go do that. All right, give it another Ember. Ooh, getting the burn. That's the second time uh, Bacon has burned something this playthrough. Bacon is already on fire, <laughs> quite literally. Great stuff. Great stuff. Way to go, Bacon Wrap. Alright, level 9. Learned Odor Sleuth. We don't really care about that, but that's alright. Alright, Tom hits level 6, learned Bite. That's actually kind of decent. That's actually kind of decent. Okay, so yeah, let me let me head back down to town uh, really quickly and grab ourselves some potions. We'll definitely want them because, you know, for all we know, Bianca's going to give us like some random like kind of difficulty, so... Better to be safe than sorry. I'm not taking any freaking chances with this playthrough. I was so confident that we were going to win Heart Gold, and then we didn't. And then, like, you know what I mean? It's just like, we've lost two Unova playthroughs. The only other two Unova playthroughs we've done, we've lost. Um, I am j determined. I am so stinking determined to, to, to get the W on this one. we got to tie up the wins-to-losses ratio again um, so that I could feel some semblance of joy in life. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, I want the... If there was if there was ever a win that I wanted the most, other than, like, say, that Hoenn win back in Emerald that we definitely didn't get, um, it's this one. I want the I want the Unova win really badly. I also want an Alola win, but that's neither here nor there. We have a little while before that's a factor. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I am gonna go ahead and throw on the grinding banner and get a get a pinch of actual grinding in real fast. So let's let's do it real quick. Uh, speed up, speed up, activate all that junk, all that junk. All right, finish it off. Ba boom, beautiful. And yeah, um, so uh, today's question of the day, like I mentioned before, uh, today's question of the day is, uh, do you prefer the original black and white or their sequels more? Uh, if you if any of you folks in the chat have not played the sequels. Um, why not? Like, uh, tell me, tell me about you guys' experiences with, uh, with the Unova games. I would love to just kind of hear, hear what you guys have to say about them in general. Whilst we're, whilst we're doing a pinch of grinding here, I think that would be appropriate. Alright, finish it off there, Tom. The level 7, excellent. Let's see, where do I want to actually get to level-wise? Um, let's see here. Uh, SBS says, uh, well, I just finished all of the Saga Frontier Remastered. Now what do I play? Oh, uh, congratulations on, on finishing it off. That's, uh, that's really cool. Um, what should you play? Um, I'm not sure. I, what kind of games are you into, SBS? I can make some recommendations if you want. Alright, let's keep it going as well. Uh, I think... What do I want to get to level-wise right now? 10? I feel, I feel like that's kind of low. Considering that the ace is going to be 14 for for the for the gym leader, um, I, I guess it's fine because we have Ginger and Kazuma. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll get Duchess, Tom, Bacon Wrap, and Cowboy up to level 10. I guess so. Okay. Uh, let's see. SBS says uh, I was looking for another RPG series, but I don't know. Um, have you played? Um, are you a fan of Dragon Quest at all? I was gonna say I'm playing Dragon Quest Eight. I have been for a long time now, and uh, if you like just turn-based RPGs, I can highly recommend Dragon Quest Eight. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, the story is adorable. That that would be my recommendation if you haven't already played it before. All right, beautiful. Another one down. Uh, let's see. Uh, Espionator says, uh, it's tough for me. In terms of content and variety, Black 2 is better, but for the story and challenge, Black 1 is better. Uh, yeah, they both have their merits, right? It's really interesting, Espionator. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, Geeky Bat is here. Geeky Bat, uh, how's it going? Uh, it's going well. It's going well. I'm excited to be playing the Unova games, Geeky. How are you doing? Uh, SPS says, yeah, I beat Dragon Quest 8 over the summer. Nice, nice. What'd you, what did you think of it? I would be curious. I'll also keep thinking of, like, some other suggestions for you. Let me... Actually, this this Patrat's kind of strong, though. Holy holy cow. I'm gonna switch out to Ginger. Uh, let's see. Uh, Espinator says, Fire Emblem. Also, apparently, the Guardians of the Galaxy game is a solid action RPG. Hey, those are some good... Ex Good, uh, good uh, options for certain. Yeah, if you haven't played, um, I don't know how familiar you are you are with the Fire Emblem series, SPS, but highly recommend Awakening and Three Houses. Those are the ones that I've played. Uh, I've also played Fates, but I don't I don't recommend Fates. Um, yeah, uh, those are those are good games. Uh, Three Houses and Awakening are very very good games. There we go. Tom hits level eight, learns Bide. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Geekybat says, I I'm great, thanks. Couldn't believe how close yesterday was. I know, I know it's crazy, Geekybat. It's crazy. It was it was just down to the wire. It was just down to the wire. It's such a shame. Such a shame. Uh, Starship says, I haven't played Black 2, just haven't uh, thought... I just haven't thought about how much they, they cost, but I have fun... I have a fun with the story in black one and white one. Yeah, the, the story is it like regardless of whether you played it or not. I can I can confirm for you, Star Champ, that um, the the stories are way better in the original games. the The sequels are fine. They're just a little bit less um, thinky, I guess, for lack of a better word. They don't make you think as much. They're just sort of like your standard affair, like oh, evil team wants to take over the world, blah blah blah, and that's just kind of boring. That's just kind of boring. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, SPS says, uh, I really tried to get into Fire Emblem, but couldn't get into the modern games. I played, uh, I plan to play Guardians when I get a PS5. Nice. Uh, well, that's, that's fair, SPS. That's fair. Have you, I was gonna say, yeah, like, um, which, uh, which game did you try, SPS? I would be curious about, about which Fire Emblem games you, like, attempted. Because a lot of them are pretty substantially weird from one another. No, no worries, Star Champ. <laughs> I, I got the gist. I got the gist of what you were saying. That's the important part. Hold on. Did I actually get potions, or did I just heal? Did, am I am I am I a lunatic that just like said I was gonna go get potions and then didn't? I do believe I am. Okay, hold on. Let me actually go get some potions. <laughs> I think I just ran back to the Pokemon Center, healed, and then ran ran back again. <laughs> so, oopsie. Hold on, let me get some actual potions. Do 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 do. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, SPS says I forget which which of them, but I know I played Awakening. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, Awakening is sort of divisive for Fire Emblem fans. Not that I would know because I'm I've, I'm I'm not I'm a modern Fire Emblem fan. I, I've only played some of the newer games. Um, what I will say is like the pair up mechanic is sort of like exclusive to Awakening and Fates. Three Houses has a pretty different vibe, so I could I think I could confidently recommend Three Houses even if you didn't like Awakening if you haven't already played it before. Um, Three Houses was really really good. Um, the gameplay is a lot of fun in that one. Um, and it, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I, I freaking keep dead-braining it. Dead-braining it. Heal, then buy potions. Got it. Heal, buy potions. Heal, buy potions. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay, thank you for healing my Pokemon. Now I'm going to buy potions. There we go. Beautiful. Um, another, uh, I never finished it, I'll, uh, but I will make another recommendation. If you like, if you like turn-based RPGs, uh, SPS, um... One of my favorite RPGs from childhood. I never finished it. I plan to eventually. Um, but one of my favorite RPGs from childhood is called uh, Wild Arms. The, the series is called Wild Arms. The one I played in particular is Wild Arms 3. Um, a lot of fun. Very, very cool aesthetics. Very cool. Uh, it's like essentially um, like it's like cowboy western, right? But like with like kind of like futuristic elements like like robots but then also like goblins and like, it's, it's a very it's a really weird like uh like like western aesthetic but then also like you know rpg stuff <laughs> it's kind of cool it's kind of cool it's a, it's a cool series um i recommend wild arms 3 that was a lot of fun uh oh welcome back laura welcome back uh you didn't miss a whole lot we haven't made a whole lot of progress we caught a couple of pokemon and then we just uh we just been, we're just grinding now. <laughs> we're just doing a little bit of grinding before we uh, before we progress here. So welcome back. Oh, Dini is here. How's it going, Dini? It's been a while. All right. Another Lillipup bites the dust. Very good. Uh, Laura says, "Oh, I see. I for once I didn't I didn't miss one. Yeah, no, we we're we're just we're we're sort of we're taking our time here. We're 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 playing it safe. I I want to make sure that we're nice and um." You know, in a good spot for that for the gym, so we are doing good for now. Uh, Dini says, "Good, you? I'm doing great, Dini. Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm excited to be playing my favorite my favorite games in the series." Uh, Star Champ says, uh, "My friend was gonna get black. He hadn't played either, so I said that we should uh, do a double playthrough, challenging each other uh, every other gym and after the Elite Four. And I won the first, and he won the rest. I developed even more respect for Archeops after that point. Hey, that's fair. Archeops is a great, great Pokemon. <laughs> it is a good one." All right, another little pup goes down. Tom is almost where we want him to be, which is good. Getting him up is probably going to be the easiest of our of our bat, or the most difficult of our batch, rather. Um, so it makes sense to go ahead and knock him out first. Good. Let me drop a potion on him real quick. That's why we bought him. This luck, the lucky egg does admittedly make it a lot easier for us here. We'd be here for a while if we were doing this the traditional grinding. Um, so that's pretty good. Feed me the lily pups, though. They give the most XP on this route, I think. I do believe. Yeah, 
we'll just get this last this uh this last level up on tom and then yeah it, it shouldn't take i don't think it'll take us very long to go ahead and get duchess and cowboy and bacon wrap up to level 10 as well that should be good i'll feel safe i'll feel i think i'll feel safe if we get to that that level range so that's what we're gonna shoot for i hope you guys don't mind i hope you guys don't mind Let's see, I'm trying to think of other other RPGs that I can recommend to SPS. Uh, I feel like I only know like a lot of the generic stuff though, which is kind of unfortunate. Like the stuff that everybody knows about or, or has played. Um, like I mean, I like I, I, I can I can basically say um, I I can say like ones that I know are good but I haven't played. <laughs> but I'm sure that doesn't really. That's not pro that's probably not very helpful though. <laughs> it's just like the only ones that I know that I haven't played are ones that everybody knows. Like play a Final Fantasy game, play Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I've never, I've never played them. I hear they're good though. <laughs> Ooh, actually, I do have something I can recommend. SBS. Uh, it's not an RPG. Have you played? Have you played the Ace Attorney series? Uh, I, I always, I always take every opportunity to recommend that series because aside from Pokemon and Zelda, it's easily my favorite series. Like it's, 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 it's top three series for me. <laughs> Have you played the Ace Attorney series? Because it's a lot of fun. If you have or haven't, you should play it anyways. <laughs> uh, SPS says, I've been meaning to get into the Wild Arms series, so I guess I can give that a go whenever I have the time. Yeah, uh, I think you can get Wild Arms 3 for relatively cheap. It's definitely the um, it's definitely the easiest to, to get of them, I believe, because some of them are kind of expensive. They're, they're, most of them are on PS2. Um, most of them are kind of expensive, but I think Wild Arms 3 is the one that is least expensive. So... If you, if you can get a hold of it, it's uh, it's definitely a good option. I highly I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Like I never finished it, but it was it was really good when I played of it. Uh, okay, cool. So lucky egg, take that from Tom. Um, we will now give it to let's do let's do cowboy first. We will give you the lucky egg, and we will give Tom the scope lens. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to give Duchess the experience share, and then we can kind of double up here, and maybe that'll help speed this up a little bit. Uh, Dini says, uh, where's my Pokemon Y cartridge? Yeah, where's it? Are you going to play some Pokemon Y? Do it, Dini. Uh, SBS says, yes, I've played the series, the mainline series, that is. I saw how rough the Perfect Prosecutor series uh, could get, and I said and said no. <laughs> I, uh, I I love the uh, I love the Ace Attorney series so much. It's like my favorite thing. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. I play I play that entire series all the way through annually. Perfect Perfect Prosecutor series could get and said no. So so when you say Perfect Prosecutor, are you, are you referring to the Investigations game, the Ace Attorney Investigations? I presume that's what you mean. Come on, cowboy, hit it with Iron Tail. Oh, I didn't mean to tail whip. Oops. I meant to tackle. Well, at least the tackle will probably kill now. Nice. Maybe I should go back to the earlier routes. These levels are actually kind of high. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, finish it off, cowboy. Very good. We're almost level 7. Almost level 7. All right, hold it. I want to heal real fast. I think we will. We'll go to this. Po this Pokemon Center is closer to the grass uh, for the Route One, anyways. So I think I'll just uh, come over here and do a little bit of training. Okay, yeah, yeah. You were referring to investigations. They're actually not. They're not the best in the series, certainly. Uh, but I do recommend them. Uh, SPS. They are actually kind of okay. They are kind of okay. They have some parts where they slog a little bit, um, but. Overall, they're they're worth the they're worth the um, experience in my opinion. They're 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 worth looking into. Uh, both the um both the original investigations and then the um the second one never came out in the West. Uh, it was Japan exclusive, but there is a very very well done fan translation. Um, they did a they did a bang up job with it. It's very good. It's it's kind of unanimously regarded by the Ace Attorney community as you know basically just being like the canon way to play that game. So highly highly recommend it. Um. Yeah, it's 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 a fun series. Uh, it's a fun series. Uh, that those particular spinoffs are decent. They are decent. All right. I need to I need to switch tackle to the first slot here because that's gonna that's gonna drive me crazy having to accidentally click the uh in the or uh, click the the tail whip 
button instead. I almost said investigations. I'm, I got investigations on the brain. I'm actually playing that game right now again. <laughs> so it's funny that we should uh, we should bring it up here. Now what am I doing? Tackle there there. Okay, cool. I don't know how to menu still, you guys. I don't know if you guys knew. I don't know how to use a menu. It's just the thing that I don't know how. I don't know how to do it. Okay, Duchess hits level seven. Very good. This should this should help speed things up a little bit, I think. Ooh, beautiful with the one shot. We love that. We love that. Okay, I think that I think that um, Cowboy is is strong enough now that we can probably um, go back to that other route. Hopefully get some more experience that way. We did we did put the lucky egg on you, right? Just so I'm clear. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, cool. That's good. I wish we could find Audinos already. Unfortunately the, the shaking grass spots don't activate until um they don't they don't activate until you like are told about them later. Uh which is super unfortunate because I would have loved it. I would have loved to have caught an Audino on this route, but that's okay. That's okay, the time will come. We will be catching an Audino this playthrough, you guys. I am bound and determined to catch one. And I'm really excited about it. We're gonna get an Audino. I'm gonna pop off. It's gonna be so great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> you guys know I love an Audino, a good Audino. As if there aren't good Audinos, because they're all good. They're all lovely little babies. All right, heal on up, cowboy. And grab yourself some lovely XP from this level 7 Patrat. Very good. <gasps> oh god, the crit. Oh, that scared me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that scared me a lot. Holy cow. Hold up. Let me switch. Let me switch. That was scary. <laughs> Uh, SPS says I've never raised an Audino. What are its moves? Um, admittedly, it's not. I'll be. I'll be perfect. I'll be perfectly honest with you, SPS. It's not the best Pokemon in the world. It's. It's pretty much your standard normal type Pokemon affair. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't get strength, but like it gets stab off of return, which is good if you've got max friendship with it, which is pretty decent. Um, it learns. Uh, its exclusive move is like, or it was its exclusive move was Heal Pulse, which was good for double. Well, not necessarily good for doubles, but could potentially have some use in doubles. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's the move set's not really the best. I just like its design a lot, so I I I pop off for it. What can I say? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Let's take care of this little pop. Uh, Star Champ says, "Oh, so I started a type lock and I pulled my old uh po old Y game and found my friend's favorite Pokemon team. That was fun. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. It's always nice to like go back to an old save file and just kind of look up, look look at it, regardless if it's yours or not. Just kind of look at it with like a wow that like." What was going what was going on in the person's head when that when they were playing this last whether it's you or like a friend or like what have you um totally true it's very cool very cool feeling it's like whenever you like whenever you buy a pokemon cartridge from like gamestop or whatever and then you like get it and you're like looking at the person's like box and see what they had like what they you know did they nickname anything you know what what, what did they have going on before they sold this game always a fun time always a fun time Oh shoot! I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually go and heal, did I? Yeah, I gotta do that. <laughs> I gotta do that. Hold on. Might as well fight this little pup here real fast. Use the potion. It's fine. That's fine. Good enough. We'll, we'll get there, you guys. I promise this 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 one grinding session. Sh I'm hoping, as long as nothing like hits the fan later on, this should be like the only like big big grinding session that we have to do. Um. Ideally, things will just sort of fall into place after that, so we don't have to do this as often. That would be that would be the best case scenario for certain. I'm gonna I'm gonna go heal real fast, like at the Pokemon Center. 
Come on, get out of my hair. Let me, let me go, Lily Pup. Let me go. I really do want to play this one like as 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 safely as I can. Normally, I would just kind of be like, um, eh, whatever. Let's just progress or whatever, and we'll we'll worry about the levels later on. But uh, this early in the game, there's too much uh, there's too much at stake. <laughs> there's too much at stake for us to be um, to be taking any chances. I definitely, honestly, I'll be I'll be real with you guys. One of my one of my biggest fears uh, in the Forever Lock Challenge is going into going into a playthrough and then losing on the first stream. Um, for, for multiple reasons. One, it just looks really awkward to, to do to do that, like as far as formatting goes, right? I just see like a single VOD of of, of a po of a particular Pokemon game and then nothing after that. And then like, I don't know, it just it just irks, it like rubs me the wrong way. Already Emerald feels really, really bad seeing only two VODs for that. But, um, but on top of that, it's also just like really embarrassing. It's really embarrassing to lose a Nuzlocke early on. So I really, really don't want to let it happen. <laughs> Uh, Espionator says, "Good luck getting a get, good luck getting a PS5 SBS. No freaking kidding. I hear that they are still having um, I hear that they are still having issues with that with with like uh quantities as far as the as far as the um the the, the like like stocking the PS5 and, and junk like that. Sorry, my brain like just stopped there for a second. Um, yeah, it, it's crazy. It's kind of crazy." The world is uh the world is engulfed at the moment. <laughs> the world is engulfed in flames. Yeah, it's gonna be a minute. I I, I was able to a um a former coworker of mine uh, managed to get a hold of one, so I, I have actually gotten to see them. If you haven't seen them in person, holy cow, they are tall. They are so stink like they were way bigger than I expected it to be. It's uh it was it was kind of insane. It's kind of insane. Uh, Denny says the world is in gulpin. Yo, <laughs> gulpin. Uh, who doesn't love a good gulpin? Almost there. Almost there. I wonder if we could. I wonder if we could probably pull that experience share off and then just use Duchess to finish it out. I wonder if that would feel more satisfying to actually get like the big XP, the big XP gain real fast. That probably would probably would feel nice. Hold up, let me pull that off real fast. Oh, is that is that a Gulpin emote, Dini? That's adorable. That's adorable. I, I don't think I've... Have you used that one before? If you have, I didn't notice it. I like Gulpin. Gulpin's cute. I like that it makes the ooh face. It's very cute. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure that you guys can imagine that I made the Gulpin face. I, I, I can assure you. Uh, fun, fun trivia fact about, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly, Laura. <laughs> That's exactly the face I made. It's true. Um, what was I say? Oh, uh, yeah, fun trivia for you guys. Uh, fun trivia about, uh, Black and White. Uh, it's actually the first game in the series. I don't remember if it's exclusive to Black and White or if they kept it going forward. Uh, but it has a mechanic that a lot of people don't know about where if... The difference between the wild Pokemon you're fighting and the Pokemon that you're using is t is the bigger the gap gets between their levels, the less experience on average you'll get from that Pokemon. So the, essentially the game encourages you to fight against Pokemon that are more on your level than it does for you to just sit there and grind against weak low level Pokemon, which is really interesting that they chose to like add that mechanic. I know for a fact that Black and White was the first to do that, but I don't remember if it's still being, like, if that mechanic is still being used or if they abandoned it at any point. I'm not really sure. Okay, one more, one more battle should hopefully do it for, for our little, our little cowboy here. Would be ideal. Hey, critical hit, we take those. Okay, one more, one more. Uh, Laura says, yep, I knew that. I think it also works against trainer battles, uh, n j just not wild ones. Uh, Laura says, it's still the case in Sword and Shield, I think. Not sure about Gen 7. Sword and Shield does do that, says Dini. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I guess I guess it is still a thing then. Interesting. Alright. That'll do the trick. Cowboy hits level 10. Perfect. 
Uh, Star 2 says, yeah, the mechanic still exists in Sword and Shield. Okay, cool. So, yeah, it, it must have, it just, I know it got its start here, which is uh, just really interesting to me. Really interesting to me. I thought it was a neat, a neat little uh, factoid. Give you a Rocky Helmet. And then we'll give Duchess the Lucky Egg. And now it is a Duchess's turn. Home stretch, you guys. Home stretch. Oh no, Denny can't find their Pokemon Y cartridge. You can, you can do it, Denny. Just gotta, just gotta keep looking, keep looking. We believe in you. You can find it. Ugh, no stab on Duchess feels kind of bad, though. <laughs> the, the three hit KO. Oh, it feels bad. Feels bad. Uh, Lur says, I mean, uh, they had to since you can't turn experience share off. That's true. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> it does It does make it hard to balance if, it, if you have a mechanic like that, so it only makes sense. Uh, I'm sorry that you're having such a hard time finding it, Dini. I hope, I hope you're able to locate it. That would be ideal. Come on, Duchess, keep it, keep it trucking here. God, I wish we had like bite or something. What uh, does does anybody know what level what level um Perloin gets a dark move? That would be very helpful information to have. A, a, a dark, uh, to be clear, a dark attacking move. So like, I don't know if it gets like thief or or bite or what have you, but hopefully we get something for it soon. Okay, level nine. Very good. One more level, Duchess. Grinding is almost done, you guys. Don't you worry. Woo! Critical hit. All right, finished it off. Very good. Let's uh, let's go and hit the. Um... Oh, I forgot to grab these items. Might as well. Got a Pokeball and a Potion. I'll take it. I'll take it. That Potion's actually helpful. We'll go ahead and heal up. Uh, it's Pursuit at level 15, says Laura. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's, man, that's re that really sucks that it's one level 15 and two that it's only Pursuit. <laughs> that's lame. That is kind of lame, but oh well. And not, uh, having early game Dark type, kind of cool. Not having early game dark type moves, kind of lame, not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie, but that's okay, that's okay. We can power through this. The stronger Lilith Puffs are a little bit spookier, but they give a lot more XP as well, so that is ideal for us. I am gonna switch though, just cause uh, that did so little damage, holy cow. Did so little damage. All right, finish off their bacon wrap. Bacon wrap will only take like a second to, to level up. That's for certain. All right, finish it off, Duchess. Level seven Patrat, okay. Can we fight this? Uh, we can, it's a little spooky. Okay, has bite, but we resist that, so that's fine. Leer. All right, finish it off, Duchess. Very good. That should be some nice XP. Hey, that'll do the trick. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Learn sand attack. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right, Duchess is done. Let's get let's get bacon wrap up with just the one level, and that should do just fine. Go ahead and give you... Uh, do I have an item for you? I guess I don't at the moment. Um, let's give give you the. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, take the take the lucky egg. Sorry, I'm gonna get lost in item item inventory hell. It's gonna be rough. Okay, amulet amulet coin. That's good. Yeah, we'll give you the amulet coin. All right, and then bacon wrap out front. Let's get this one last level, and then we'll finally fight Bianca. Thank you, thank you guys so much for like uh, for bearing with me through that. I just wanted to make sure that we were nice and prepared, nice and prepared for what's to come. 
We, I promise that we will make now make progress. We will spend a good amount of time making progress now. Uh, SBS says, I'm not demanding it, but if you come across a Pontiard, you have an obligation to add it to your party. <laughs> oh, do I? Ask, what, what, is it, what is your reasoning to add it to the party? <laughs> I'm curious. Bacon Wrap hits level 10. Perfect. Okay, grinding is all done. It's cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. I thought that there was some, like, big, big, um, big important reasoning behind it. Uh, but no, okay, got it. We had a, pa a Pontiard once. It super duper died. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, pro no, no problem. We have a, I think we have one that's slated to be a Bisharp uh, at the moment, if I recall correctly. Uh, I don't know. You, you could check the, uh, you could check the checklist in the Discord if you wanted to. Um, but yeah. Yeah, no, Pontiard, Pontiard and Bisharp are actually, they're pretty cool Pokemon. They're pretty cool. Pull the grinding banner off real quick. There we go. Okay, let's go heal. And now we can fight Bianca. I feel confident fighting Bianca. <clears throat> I'll buy a couple more potions while we're here as well. Just a couple more, if I can actually navigate. Get potions. Get five of them. And then I think I want to get some Pokeballs here as well. Like, uh, yeah, we'll get ten of them just to have them on, on deck for when we, we get past uh, the first town. That'll be good. Uh, SBS says, yeah, it's a glass cannon and it goes down easily, but I really like Bisharp. Yeah, no, Bisharp is super cool. Bisharp is super cool. I think we have one named Power Ranger, so yeah, cool stuff. Um, yeah, I've never I've never actually used Bisharp. Uh, it's a really cool Pokemon. The four times weakness to fighting is a little rough, but um, that's okay. You can you can have a good Pokemon that's four times uh, weak to something. I mean, people people stand Charizard all the time, so it's all good. It's all good. Let's run away from this lily pup. And let's speed on through these encounters just so I can go and get to Bianca. I feel like the encounter rate is kind of insane right now, though. Kind of insane. Alright. Up through here. Let me try walking. Fun, fun fact for those who don't know, I think I've mentioned this before on stream, but whatever. Uh, walking decrease, well, it doesn't decrease your catch rate. Running increases the, the likelihood of Pokemon uh, attacking you. Walking is less so. So uh, if you're ever trying to get from point A to point B, you have a better chance walking. Granted, this uh, this is not a perfectly great example of that because they're just popping up regardless. But um, statistically, it's supposed to, you're supposed to get less encounters that way. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Bianca, let's go. Lids, come on, Lids. Hey, girl, how you doing? Oh, she's so cute. Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle, please. I, the Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. Yay, Bianca. I'm gonna watch her pull, pull her Pokeball out of her bag. Look at her. <laughs> ah, so lovely. I, I love I really love Bianca and Sharon. They're easily my favorite rival characters in the series. I like them a lot. All right, Bacon Wrap. Let's get this. We we have experience uh, taking on these Lily Pups, so we can we can pull this off. I do believe. But both my Pokemon and I are going are going to give it our all. All right, Lily Pup goes down. No problemo. All right, Snivy is here. We will stay in and get ourselves up to level 11. Okay, this little one is up next. Ooh, almost killed. Yo, with the burn, bacon wrap, you absolute monster. Ah, uh, you're, you're a good little piggy. I can just uh, take it out here real quick. Ooh, potion. Ooh, you playing games, Bianca? You playing games? All right, well, we'll take it out with the Ember then. Goodbye, little baby Snivy. All right, level 11 acquired. Very good. Yeah, we should be we should be in perfect in a perfect place to go ahead and like get our rotation going. Just swapping between Pokemon and leveling up the way that I like. 
Um, I've I've been told that I am. Um, I've been told that I'm kind of kind of weird in in regard to the way that I level my Pokemon. That I like to like switch between them. Does anyone else do that? Am I the only one? Um, I would be curious to know if if anyone else does the thing where you like. What I like to do is like level 10, move it to 11, then move to the next level 10, and then get it up to 11, and then the next level 10, then get it up to 11. Uh, I'm just curious, yeah, because like uh, it's something that I've always done, and I. When I've told people that, they're like, that's weird. And I'm just like, is it, is it that weird? I'd like to do it. Oh, Laura does it too. Good, good, good. I'm not crazy then. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Wonderful. Good good to know. Okay, let's put... Duchess out. We will give you the amulet coin again. And it will be Duchess's turn. Uh, Denise says, I keep the Pokemon in. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay, let me let me do some reorganizing here just so I can breathe. Get Tom moved over here. And there we go. Okay, perfect. Alright, moving right along. We have um we have the Charon fight coming up. Wait, doesn't he have a purloin? Maybe I'll do Tom first. Maybe I'll do Tom first then. And yeah, we want to go fight Charon inside of the trainer school for certain. Uh, let's see here. Maybe, yeah, I think I will go ahead and do that, actually. Well, let, me take, let me take Tom's item here. Again, I, I do apologize that we have to kind of go into, like, inventory hell. I wish that there was an easier way to remove items, but uh, alas, there is not. Alas, there is not. Luckily, I do have the speed up, so that's always helpful. If it ever bothers you with the, if I ever, like, accidentally spam speed up or just sort of spam speed up in weird places, let me know. I could, I could stop doing it. I am I am completely open to feedback in regards to that sort of thing. Okay, so yeah, let's go fight Charon. How's it going? When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Hey, Lids, have you come looking for the gym leader? He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few minutes ago. Maybe we walked. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Lids, you will. Will you have a Pokemon battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battle. Sure, let's do it, Charon. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyways, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Woohoo! Let's go. Bring it on, Charon. Uh, I love this. I love this soundtrack, too. Or this, uh, this, particular, this particular song is very engaging to me. It's maybe my favorite rival battle theme. Well, I do really like Silver's battle theme as well, but I digress. I digress. Uh, okay, let's hit it with a tackle. Big ol' stab tackle there, Tom. Well done. Two hit KO. Ooh, but we got the Orin Berry. Makes sense. Makes sense. Three hit KO ain't too bad, though. That ain't too bad. That'll do just fine. Get him, Tom. And Oshawa goes down. Alright, Purloin is here. Yep, we'll stay in. Alright. Easy to hit KO, no problem, and no berry this time, which is very good. Alright, Sharon goes down, beautiful. So, learning to use items well is definitely important, then. Oh, here, Lids, I'll give you these berries. Orin berries acquired. If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it will eat it and heal up when the HP goes down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck, then. Thanks, Charon. Uh, we do want to go into the Dream Yard, fight a couple trainers. We can actually also get ourselves a free static, or rather, a free gift. Um, let's see, it'll be... It'd be a pan sage. It'd be a pan sage, yeah, yeah. So we can get ourselves a lovely pan. Do we have pan sage, pan or uh, semi sage right now? I'm not sure. Let me double check. I'm curious. We don't have pan. No, we don't have pan sage. Wow, we don't have any of the elemental monkeys. Crazy. Yeah, we have none of the elemental monkey Pokemon. So yeah, well, we can uh, go ahead and grab one of those. Yes, it's a monkey. It's a monkey, Laura. Hi, Silen. Yes, I am a gym leader of this town. You are? Right, you want to challenge the gym. 
In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Tepig, I see. It's weak against water-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare the face that type. For example, try training your Pokemon in the Dream Yard. Please, excuse me now. Fun fact for you guys. Uh, in the English dub of the Pokemon Black and White anime, um, Silent is voiced by the same person who voices Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> so, and it's really, really funny, because you can totally hear it. Uh, oh, Casper is here! How's it going, Casper? Good to see you. How are you doing? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Tom could stay out. Uh, I should probably heal, though, before we jump into some trainer battles. That makes sense. Let me heal. Also, I, I think... Yeah, you give me a Dusk Ball, don't you? Thanks, pal. Yeah, how is that? How is a Casper doing? It's it's good to see you. It's been a couple days. Been a couple days. Uh, Casper says, "I sure am awake." Wakey, wakey, Casper. Eggs and bakey, eggs and bacon wrap here. We have a Tepig named Bacon Wrap, by the way. <laughs> eggs and bacon wrap. It's time for it's time for pig. Uh, Laura says, uh, the English dub VA for Chili in the anime is the same as Blue in the Pokemon Origins series. Ooh, good to know, good to know. <laughs> oh, there's another item. I want to get the item. I like items. Wait, how do I get down there again? Uh, Starchip says, ah, Simi's here, the lowest rated Pokemon in the Japanese poll. It's true, it is it is true. Uh, people do not like Simi's here, apparently. People do not like Simi's here. I think it's fine. I used one. We had one named Blaze. Um, like, spelled like the name, not like the fire. Um, we had one named Blaze, and it was actually kind of a... It was actually kind of like an MVP of the team back in... Uh, I think it was the white playthrough? Or, or sorry, black playthrough? <clears throat> oh, God. My voice. Um, yeah, it was it was, a, it was actually a decent mon. It was actually a decent mon. Uh, Laura says, And Charon is voiced by the one and only Todd Havercorn. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Good old Todd Havercorn. I love him. I love him so much. He's uh, such a talented voice actor. I like him a lot. Uh, uh, Ling Yao. Uh, Freaking uh, Alan Walker from D. Gray Man. Um, so many, so many like, really, really good good roles. Uh, that That's Ling Yao from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, for those who don't know. Um, yeah, let's fight. Tom, let's let's go get that uh, let's go get that uh, that pan sage. That'll be good. We are here. We are here training now. Let's train Pokemon together. Last Airy has a Burline. Easy peasy. Hit it with a tackle. Okay, scratch. That's fine. A critical hit. Gosh dingo darn. Alright, Praloin goes down. And Tom hits level 11. Very good. Learning Detect. I will actually probably take that. That could potentially be useful. That could actually potentially be useful. So I will take that over Leer. I think that it only makes sense. Uh, Casper says, also, Morgan from Fire Emblem Awakening, Death the Kid from Soul Eater. Extra yeah, no, Todd, Todd Havercorn is in, like, everything. <laughs> Todd Havercorn is a, um, is a, is a very, very well-known, but, like, also, again, incredibly talented voice actor. Uh, he's, isn't he, isn't he also Natsu from Fairy Tale? I've never seen Fairy Tale, but I think he's also Natsu. I think. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I'm actually kind of uh, questioning it now. Okay, yeah, Natsu from Fairy Tale. Yeah, Laura says it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not crazy, then. I'm gonna stay in just so I can take advantage of the Lucky Egg here, um, but I will I will obviously get the Lucky Egg switched off to someone else soon. Yeah, and yeah, and he also yeah he's he is Hikaru from Oran as well. He is Hikaru, that's true. I uh, actually I actually have been watching uh, Oran recently. I'm not quite done with it. I've been watching it sort of uh, like on and off, but yeah, Oran, Oran the High School Host Club is actually pretty funny. <laughs> it's a funny show. Aw, oh, Diddy still hasn't find their, found their Pokemon Y cartridge. You can do it, Diddy. Just keep, keep searching. I know you can do it. Okay, um, let's see. I really have nothing that I can, like, has, have another, as another item. Dang it, that's so frustrating. Alright, I just gotta pull, pull the Lucky Egg off, and it's Duchess's turn. We will give you the Lucky Egg. 
Uh, Lar says Aron had the best English dub cast, uh, and Free Iwatobi Swim Club. I've never, I've never watched that one before, uh, Laura. But uh, yeah, Aron has a good, it has a good bunch. It has a good bunch. A lot of, a lot of talented voice work for certain. All right, Patrat. I think after this battle, I do really want to, uh, really quickly want to run and grab uh, another cup of coffee. But we are going to take on, we are definitely going to take on the first gym today. I am bound and determined to do that. So we're, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. Oh, dang, I keep hitting the speed up button out of habit. No, no, bad finger. No speed up button. Defense fell, that's fine. Finish it off, that just... Very good. Some good XP from that. Alright, another Patrat is coming out. I'm a little bit nervous just because of the um, the, the defense drop there. Uh, let's go into... Let's go into Bacon Wrap. I know that we'll, we'll we sort of lose out on some of our some of, some of our lucky egg points, but that's okay. That is okay. Okay, two hit KO. We take those. We take those. All right, Lily Pup. Um, let's go back into. Uh, back into Duchess. Alright, and give it the Scratch. Odor Sleuth. That's fine. Actually, d d what does Odor Sleuth do other than make ghost types uh, tangible? I always forget that for some reason. I feel like I may have even asked that on stream before and I just did not retain the answer. <laughs> um, what does Odor Sleuth actually do? Alright, Lillipuff goes down. Very good. Oh, that was Youngster Joey. Crazy, crazy. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's grab. Actually, I'll go ahead and grab the uh, the monkey real quick before I before I go grab coffee. But I am gonna go grab coffee after that for certain. Unfortunately, we cannot yet get a um, we cannot yet get a dream dream yard encounter or like a proper one yet. But we can get this monkey. Hey, hey, you! What was the first Pokemon you received? Tepig, really? The Pansage could be a big help. Your Tepig does not do well against Water type Pokemon. Say, do you want this Pansage of mine? Yes. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> Alright, in that case, real fast, um, I'll just run to the PC real fast, um, deposit someone temporarily, and then I'm gonna go get some coffee. <laughs> I need some coffee. Uh, I am, uh, I'm running out of steam here. I need to, I need to put, inject caffeine directly into my brain real fast, so let me temporarily deposit Kazuma. And then I will go get some coffee. So yeah, I'll be right back, you guys. Uh, we will, we will have a monkey before too long, so... Please stand by.
Okay, sorry about the wait there, folks. I am back. Thank you for your patience. Uh, let's jump back in, shall we? We have temporarily deposited our Machop. Uh, so let's go, in he go ahead and grab ourselves a lovely free Pan Sage. Um, should we make it Pan Sage or Simi Sage? Um, why don't we make it just Pan Sage? I think that's what we'll do. So this will be just a Pan Sage. Um, if you guys have any nickname suggestions, I am all ears. Yep, just a Pan Sage. We will not be evolving it. So just, uh, just a little baby monkey. Let's see, what do we call you? Did he suggest King Kong? Ooh, it's a girl! It's a girl Pan Sage! Ooh, that's interesting. Probably won't do King Kong for, for a girl one. Um, wow, what do we call Girl Monkey? What is Girl Monkey called? Hmm. Hmm. Tough one, actually. What do I call you? I'm gonna turn my... I think, I think my, uh, I think my chat's being stupid again, so I'm gonna really quickly, um... I'm gonna really, really quickly, uh, open my stream manager on my phone just so I can make sure I'm hearing, or, er, uh, hearing, seeing you guys' chats. Because my stream manager, or rather my, my chat is being stupid again. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that'll help. Um, Laura suggests Nana. I mean, that automatically makes me think of one of my favorite animes, Nana. <laughs> uh, I, I get it. I get it. Yep, banana. Got it. <laughs> Um, I kind of like... How about Nanny? Um, Dixie. Dixie Kong is pretty good. Seedlet. It's a record of Lotus War reference. Uh, I don't, I'm not familiar with that SPS. Um, Dixie is pretty good. I do like Dixie. I could call her, I could call her Dixie. Um, I also like Nanny. Nanny would be good. Nana would be good. Um, I think... I think I think I'm gonna do. Oh, there's also a monkey named Nana in AC in Animal Crossing. Oh, interesting. Okay, all right, I'm talked into it. We'll call it Nana. It feels weird to me just because again, one of my we we didn't name anything Nana already, right? Hold on. Nana. Just making sure. Just making sure. Okay, yeah, no, we have not named anything Nana. It's it's gonna make me. It's automatically gonna make me think of one of my favorite animes, but. That's okay. I don't. I don't mind the association there. So yeah. Okay, Nana. Nana, it is. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate all of the wonderful, wonderful suggestions. Let me write down that we got ourselves a Pan Sage. Okay. Beautiful. So yeah. Uh, it is now. It is now time. Uh, there's nothing. Nothing left. Um, this game actually limits you pretty, pretty greatly as far as like what you can actually do before you take on the first gym. It. It really does like make sure you fight the first gym. Uh, before you do anything else. So that is exactly what we're going to go and do. We are just going to rush on into um, to take on the, the gym trainers as well as uh, Cress. Uh, because we have Tepig, it will be Cress. So let's go get him. First gym badge, baby. Let's get some gym hype going. Oh, and it's Clyde. Good old Clyde. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for Trader's Challenging Pokemon Gym. We appreciate you challenging the gym. Take this commemorative, or take this to commemorate the occasion. Wahoo! Got a freshwater. All right. We know how types work around here. We've done this a time or two. All right, let's fight. Uh, let's see. Who who do we got out front? Who are we fighting with? Uh, Duchess. Uh, that's probably fine. That just could probably fight it. Welcome to Striaton Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, Lily Pup. We're definitely not sick of those yet. <laughs> level 11. Holy cow, I forgot it really does it really does ramp things up level wise, doesn't it? It really, really does. Isn't it awkward that the best move that we have right now is cut? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to switch on this one. Oh, I forgot to go get our um, Machop back. I have to do that real fast. After this battle. After this battle, I do for certain. 
Yeah, I didn't. I, I totally forgot. It really does like it really does ramp up the levels. That is kind of insane how much they expect you to grind before this gym. It's kind of absurd. Because there's just there's not a lot to do before it, so it's just I don't know. Interesting. Clear scares me a little bit. As you guys know, the, the defense lowering moves really, really scare me in the early games. The Lillipup is faster, too. Ugh, that's too low. That's too low. Alright, that just hits level 11. Oh, hey there, Gilgadima. How's it going? Good to see you. Alright, cool. So, that guy's down. Luckily, we, we didn't lose anything. That's good. Uh, let me really quickly. I gotta go drop off that Pan Sage and get our Machop back. Because I forgot to do that. We haven't we haven't a use for the Pan Sage at the moment. Yeah, we'll drop that off. Um, add the Machop. Honestly, Machop could actually be really, really helpful. <laughs> uh, if, we, if we have to... If, if things start to hit the fan, uh, it might not be a horrible idea to throw out the Machop there and and, uh, and hope for the best. All right, let's get Kazuma back. Remove the Pan Sage. There we go. All right, let's do this thing. Uh, do we? Are we doing okay on potions and all that junk? I think we are. We should have plenty, right? Six potions. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. Alright. I believe it's one more gym trainer, and then, of course, the gym leader himself. Um, so let's do it. Whoop! Almost stepped on the wrong button there. <laughs> Just rushing my way through the gym, I suppose. Ah, uh, delicious coffee. Delicious, delicious coffee. Nourishing me, making me feel better about life. All right, Waitress Tia wants to fight with her Patrat. Bring it on, bring it on. All right, level 10, that's a little bit more manageable for me. Uh, give it the cut there, Duchess. Oh, I, I forgot to switch uh, for, switch Duchess out, that's my bad. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate, because that means that we're uh, not going to be able to take advantage of the, uh, of the Lucky Egg, but that's okay. Actually, I think I am just going to put Kazuma out here. Or Kazuma. Kazuma. This is not Kazuma like from Ace Attorney. This is Kazuma like from Yu Yu Hakusho. It's, it keeps throwing me off because it's spelled the same. <laughs> uh, Starchamp says, uh, my sister came over. I'm going to head out. Uh, break a leg. Oh, it, yeah, no worries, Starchamp. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Tell your sister we said hey. Ooh, bite. That's scary. That's really scary. Okay, cool. The dragon just goes down. I was gonna say, I hope this karate chop just takes it out then. Okay, purloin. Uh, purloin. Let's go into cowboy. Uh, Denny says I should have named him Kazuya. Uh, yeah, like like from Tekken. Yeah, that that. I mean, it would have it would have made sense certainly. It would have it would have been appropriate. I named him. I named him uh, Kazuma after uh, one of the main characters from from my favorite anime is Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, so yeah, that's what he's named after. I named the entire Machop line after characters from Yu Yu Hakusho. All right, let's take out the Perloin. Ba boom! Very good. Well done, cowboy. All right, let's get the uh, let's get the lucky egg moved off of, um, moved off of Duchess because it is not Duchess's turn anymore. Put the rocky helmet onto Duchess, and we'll put the lucky egg onto Cowboy. And I'm gonna go back and heal real quick because we're about to take on the gym leader. <laughs> We got this, though. Uh, this this one is admittedly uh, the it's it's sort of a, a nuzlocke barrier. I've had a lot of nuzlocks where I'll either like lose or like lose straight up or lose a lot of Pokemon to to Chili Cress or Silent. Um, it really is kind of a struggle, but I'm ho I think that with 
you know, the, the support Machop and the support Snubble there, like, already being, like, really adequately leveled, I think think we should be okay. At least I hope. I hope so. I certainly hope so. We shall see. Uh, let's see. Who who do I want out front for this? Um, I could very easily one-shot the uh, the Lily Pup with, with Kazuma. Or Kazuma, excuse me. Uh, with Kazuma. Um, but do I want to... Okay, what do I want to do moveset-wise here? Um... Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I will do Ginger. <laughs> maybe I will do Ginger and just go for Headbutt. Yeah, that's probably a good play. I can, I mean, it's not like it's not like all my guys are going to fall behind or anything like that. So, yeah, might as well. I'll play, it I'll play it very, very safe here. Very, very safe. That is what we want. So, yeah, I will lead with... I will lead with, with Kazuma, then. Welcome to the Striated City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with Fire-type Pokemon. I'm a Water-type Specialist, and my name is Cress. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. And my name is Silent. I like Grass-type Pokemon. Oh, look at them spin. Look at them spin. They are very pleasing to look at characters, I have to say. Despite how, like, sort of, you know, whatever they are, they are nice to look at, at least. Um, you see, as for why there's three of us, um, are are all here as well, um, her, uh... Oh, l enough, listen up. The three of us will decide whom you battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokémon that you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was a Fire-type, it seems. This is correct. I shall be- it shall be I and my esteemed Water-types that you must face in battle. Uh, you're- I- I think you'll- you'll find us your esteemed Water-type because you lead with Lillipup, but... Alright, if you say so, Cress. All right, let's do this thing, you guys. What incredible luck for you. You get to battle the best among the three of us. Let's do it. First gym. Let's see if we can come out on top. Leader Crest. I'm hoping that a Karate Chop will do the trick here. Well, bam. Easy one shot. Beautiful. Just what I wanted to see. Just what I wanted to see. Alright, Panpour is coming out. Uh, yeah, we will go into. I think Ginger is going to fight you. I kind of want to just shut him down before he has a chance to set up with Work Up. Because that could actually be a problem. Get the Intimidate off as well, will be very helpful. All right, Ginger, hit him with the headbutt. The stab, in this gen, the stab he headbutt, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Ba bam Ooh, is that a two-hit KO? With the high roll, maybe. Ooh, not quite, not quite. Are you going to potion? I bet you will. I bet you will. I'm just going to headbutt again. Yep, there it is. Had a feeling. Had a funny feeling. But I think we're gonna kill here. Ooh, not quite. That's okay. Just keep headbutting. Just keep headbutting. You got this, Ginger. I, I do believe this is Ginger's battling debut. So what a way to what a way to start. <laughs> Very good. Well done, Ginger. SPS says, uh, back in a few. I got something. Uh, I got something to eat. Hey, no worries, SPS. We'll be here. Um, we're we're gonna be going probably for. I want to get to the, the town where the second gym is, but we probably won't fight the second gym, so we should be going for a little bit longer. So, yeah, no worries, SPS. Well, you're quite remarkable. It's the Pokemon League rules, so please, take this badge. Yay, we get our first gym badge of the Unova region. Very, very good. No deaths as well. Very, very, very pleasing. We, we played it very, very safe, to be clear, but um, you know what? We, we, we take that. <laughs> we take that. Sometimes it's just what you got to do, right? Just what you got to do. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey without question. We also want you to have this. And we got the TM for workup. Uh, lovely, lovely uh, is the fact that TMs are unlimitedly recyclable in this generation. So we could take very, very good advantage of that. Um, we certainly, certainly will. Um, does Eevee get workup? Actually, that might that might be kind of decent. 
At least until we get the Leafy on going. Does Eevee get work up? Uh, wow, a lot of things get work up. Holy cow. Give it to Kazuma, or Kazuma as well. Probably better than Focus Energy. Might as well teach it to as many people as I can take advantage of it with. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of... Get rid of Bide. I'm never gonna... I Don't get me wrong, you can make funny plays with Bide, but I, it's so freaking risky, especially in a Nuzlocke. It's probably not worth it. Probably not. Alright, and then Cowboy... Um, do I want... Maybe I want Sand Attack more. Yeah, I think I want Sand Attack more. And then I don't need Work Up on, on Stubble. We're good. Okay, cool. But yeah, we get to take uh, take advantage of Unlimited TMs. Always nice. Always very, very nice. Oh, hello, Fennel. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please, follow me. Fennel is just a sort of whatever background character. Um in just a normal playthrough, but if you play the Dream World, she's actually a super important character with a really distinct, like, actually quite adorable character design. <laughs> she's actually a very pleasing character. Um, it makes me sad that, yeah, people basically never get to experience her as an actual character beyond her just giving you what amounts to a useless uh, sea gear in, you know, modern day because it doesn't do anything because Wi-Fi is shut down. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Hey, we got cut. Nice. There's some moves that a Pokemon can use when it's not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down a small tree. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. We already actually have Pokemon that know Cut, so we are actually golden there. Yes, Game Sync, we all know about this. Let's head off to the Dream Yard, shall we? We'll be able to get an encounter in the Dream Yard, and we'll also be able to um, progress the story. Cutting that tree down for us, Duchess. Thank you very much. Hi, Lids. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? Uh, no. I'm just I'm just here to party. Hey, did you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see. Okay. Moon. Ah, uh, Moon is Moon is a cute one. Oh, wait! We found you, Muna! Come on, come on, make some dream mist! Woo! No, Muna! Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma! We battle day and night to liberate Pokémon from foolish humans! What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit a va mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. And yeah, we're going to liberate Pokemon by kicking the shit out of them. Nice. Come on, spit out that Dream Mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make it give off Dream Mist? That's mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. By kicking Pokemon. Yo, come on. <laughs> Be cool, you guys. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt Lids. Aw, Bianca, Bianca, protect though. Bianca, protect me. Very cute. Very, very cute. I like her. I like Bianca and Charon. They really are fantastic rivals. Easily my favorites. Oh, I didn't mean to lead with Kazuma. Oopsie. Oopsie doodle. Well, I'm gonna end this Patrat's whole career. Goodbye. <laughs> oh shoot, and he only had one Pokemon too, which means I'm going to go into this next, uh, n this next Team Plasma fight also <laughs> with Kazuma. <laughs> Oops. Well, Enjoy the XP there, Kazuma. Alright, a Purloin. Once again, something that will instantly die to my Karate Chop. A 
and probably also level up here. Yep, that's kind of what I thought. That's kind of what I thought. I can't believe we lost, but we have to obtain the Dream Mist. Stop kicking Mona, you jerk. <laughs> Come on, make with the Dream Mist. Knock it off. Uh, Laura says, I have to go now. Bye, everyone. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Laura. Always a pleasure to have you. We'll see you on the next one. What are you two doing goofing off? We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties. This isn't gets us when he's gathering followers or gets us when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, this is this is gets us when a plan has failed. He's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we're sorry so he forgives us. Lol. Got him. Well done, Mu well done, Musharna. What was that just now? A person called Getsus appeared all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon? Oh. I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Musha! Uh, Casper says, so you agree, Getsus is tricking people. I know, crazy, crazy. It's foreshadowing, Casper. It's foreshadowing. Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Mon Muna here was, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came and and it showed us something like a dream, and then Team Plasma. I think I followed that. See, Musharna evolves from Muna, so seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power, making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. It's kind of funny that, like, <laughs> it literally did make the Dream Mist. I like the idea that they kicked the crap out of Muna to make the Dream Mist, and then they just bailed without realizing it was there. <laughs> With this, I can complete my research. You two come by my house later, okay? You got it, Fennel. Whew, how random was that? Liz, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm gonna go look for that Pokemon we saw just now. Um, yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, I think the only thing in this area that we don't have is Muna. Um, because I don't think we have either Muna or Musharna. Let me, let me double check here real fast, just so I'm 100% sure. Yeah, we, we have neither Muna nor Musharna, so those are perfectly valid options. We have Patrat and Watchog, we have Purloin and Lipard. I think those are the only thing available here, if I'm not mistaken. So let's, uh, let's quickly look, let's quickly scout out that Muna. Nope, we've got Patrat, we've got Watchog. But we should also switch Pokemon in, uh, into something that can uh, whittle it down a little bit for us. Um, how about... Uh, a cowboy should work just fine, actually. I do believe. But yeah, let's, uh, let's look for that lovely, lovely little baby Muna. Nope, that's Purloin. We'll use a little bit of speed up here just so we can hopefully find it relatively quickly. It's, it's the rare encounter, so it's a little hard to come by sometimes, but we'll find it. We'll find it. I know it's here. I know for a fact it's here. Wait, do, do we not have... We must have adaptability instead of runaway. That's interesting. Um, I guess Iron Tail it, because it's not letting me run away. <laughs> you did this to yourself, Purloin. <laughs> I, I tried to spare you. Alright, Cowboy hits level 11. Cool. Come on, Muna, where are you at? Where are you at? I forget, I forget if it is actually like a 1% encounter or if it's higher than that. I honestly don't remember. It's been a little while. I am curious. I am curious. Let me look it up here real fast. Let's see the Dream Yard real fast. Dream Yard. Counters in black and white. Uh, oh, it's 20%. Yeah, so it should show up, like, relatively easily then. <laughs> it should not take that long to, 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 to come up, I imagine, at 20%. Uh, yeah, so let's just uh, let's just keep trucking. It's actually kind of in interesting that it hasn't shown up yet. Come on, Muna. 20%. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it was like, what, 20%? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Don't worry. I was just late. I missed the bus. Uh, let's drop an Iron Tail on it, and we'll miss and feel bad. Oh, but it'll miss too, so it all works out. 
Non-stab iron tail, let's go. Very good. Yawn. Okay, don't I don't wanna fall asleep though. Cowboy. Cowboy, don't go to sleep. Uh let's go with the premier ball, why not? Should I make should we make this a Muna or the Musharna, I wonder? Nice. Stayed in the premier ball, very cool. Um, let's make this Let's 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 go ahead and make this um Musharna. We'll just we'll just straight up do Mushar Musharna. That sounds good. Um, okay, so does anybody have any Musharna nickname suggestions? I am totally open to them. Um, I'm actually not sure what to call Musharna. I've never used one properly, so um, yeah, I have no idea. I I'm tempted to just call it like Fennel or Bianca because like it's basically Bianca's ace Pokemon. Uh, like aside from her starter, uh, I would argue that like Musharna is kind of her her thing. So naming it Bianca is not a terrible idea. It is a female Musharna, so it would work out. Um, I could also just call, it, just call it Fennel. Um, hmm. I don't think of anything more more creative than that. I wonder. Um, nothing is jumping out at me. Yuma. Uh, Casper suggests Yuma. What is that a reference to something, Casper? You meh. You meh. You meh. Uh, it's dream in Japanese. Oh, cool. Oh, that works. <laughs> that works well. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Thanks for the suggestion, Casper. I appreciate it. Yuma it is. Yuma. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. I like it. Alright, uh, let's grab that item up there real quick since we, since we can. We may as well. Uh, I believe we just, yeah, head over, head over yonder. Oh wait, can we not? Hold on, I could swear. I could swear we could actually get up there. Am I, am I blind? I'm not blind. We go around the stairs. Okay, got it. I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out in my head. Over here, under this, up the stairs. There we go. Beautiful. Just want to go pick up this item, whatever it is. I've done a lot of, uh, I've done, done a lot of randomizers in black and white. So I'm like always like like subconsciously looking for for items because the 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 Pokemon the universal Pokemon randomizer also randomizes the items on the ground. So like I have this like undying urge to collect all of them even though I know that like this is just a vanilla playthrough so it's just going to be the regular shit. It's still it still like just makes me like oh I got to get the items. I got to get the items. <laughs> all right, let's go finish up our business with Fennel so that we can move on to the next route. Uh, where we have the possibility, it's not a guarantee because we'd have to get lucky that, that it shows up, but we have the possibility to get an Audino on the next route, and I really want it. <laughs> I want an Audino, you guys. I really, really do. We do not currently have one, and I would like one. I would like one very much. Very, very much. All right, let's go finish up this business with Fennel, with the the frickin' Sea Gear, Enterlink, all that stuff that doesn't work anymore. I'm just gonna blast through it, frankly. It's just not important. Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, crazy. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need it. Thanks, though, Fennel. Thank you. Hello, Amanita. How's it going? Oh, trainer, thank you very much for helping Fennel. This is from me. Please don't. Please take it yeah we got it we got the pal pad yo you guys want to you guys want to hook hook it up with the pal pad digits <laughs> you guys want to play with the pal pad <laughs> oh man it's so it's just so funny it's such an archaic archaic feature <laughs> at this point uh, very amusing very very amusing but all right perfect so let's um let's pop into here and heal up real fast i think we're i think we're still damaged a, a skosh or at least we're like low on pp in any case um all healed up. Are we ready to party here? Uh, I do believe we are. Oh, we have a double battle coming up, though, I think. So we should probably put out... Let's see, we'll put out Bacon Wrap. Uh, Cowboy and Bacon Wrap should do the trick. Alright. Up yonder, through into this new route, where we can possibly get an Audino. I'll be very excited about it. We have a lot of trainers we can fight here, too. 
Um, one plus two is, or one plus one is two, right? Uh, yeah, no, no kidding, little girl. No kidding. Kumi and Amy. These two have actually tripped me up a couple of times, especially in randomizers. Especially in randomizers, these two tend to screw me, but that's okay. We got this. Give it a tackle, and we'll double up. Always double up where you can in the double battles. 2v1 is always better than, than 2v2. Every single time it is. Very good. Baker up hits level 12. Very nice. And take out this other purloin as well. Good. All right. Um, I'm trying to decide. We're actually running a little bit low on time. I was saying that I think I wanted to try to get to Nakreen City before we before we ended things off, but I'm actually skeptical that we can do that. I'm almost even wondering if maybe I ought I ought to just uh like wrap it up here shortly. Maybe I'll uh. Maybe I'll get the encounter. I'll get the encounter on this route, which uh, entails getting a, a, a tiny bit further. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're going to we're going to progress this little plot point with the little girl still on Pokemon, um, go and battle alongside Charon against the team Plasma Grunts. Um, I'm gonna fight these trainers as well. And I think after that, so we're gonna fight all these preschoolers up here uh, don't take that out of context. Um, we're going to fight all of, all of these trainers up here. Then we're going to go and uh, fight with Charon. And then we're going to catch a Pokemon. And that is how we're going to end today's session, I believe. I think that sounds like a solid plan. I think that that sounds like a solid plan. That's what we're going to do. So we will we will first start off by fighting these trainers uh, with Cowboy in the lead with that lucky egg. Let's go. I definitely want to fight all the trainers that I can. I want the experience. I want to, um, we have to be super, super prepared for Lenora because she absolutely rocked us uh, last time when we played Pokemon, Pokemon Black. Uh, so yeah, we absolutely want to make sure that we're ready to take on Lenora. <laughs> she, she is a tough one. She is a tough cookie. Okay, two hit KO with tackle. Not too bad, cowboy. Not too bad. Level 12 acquired, very good. Okay, Muna is coming out. Uh, I'm gonna stay in, take advantage of that, uh, of that lucky egg where we can, may as well. Muna's a cute Pokemon. I, I really do like it. it. I feel like that's what, it's one of those Pokemon that is kind of middling to a lot of people, but I actually really do enjoy it. I enjoy its design. I like that it looks like a little incense burner. It's cute. Very cute. All right, Muna goes down. Uh, SBS says, "Is Muna supposed to be a pig?" No, it's a tapir. It's a, it's a, it's another, it's a dream-eating tapir, kind of like how Drowsy is. Sim similar vibes. Okay, let me pull the lucky egg off of you. We'll give it to Tom. Do I have something to give Cowboy? Yeah, scope lens. That'll work. Put Tom out front. Let me rearrange here a little bit because we're all all out of whack again. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, trainer. Have a battle with me. Preschooler Doyle's got the pan pour. I think, I think that Tom can handle that. I do believe. Lear scares me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just that kind of weenie. Go, you try and lick me, you fool. You fool. Ooh, critical hit. Holy cow, that was scary. Alright, Tom hits level 12. Very good. 
Okay, we have a we have a Charon fight also coming up. We gotta keep that in mind. Gotta keep that in mind. I, I always forget that there's an actual um, Charon fight there um, before we before we do the bit with uh, with the girl and her stolen Pokemon. This lady heals you. Um, a lot of people forget about that. This lady will always heal you, so you never have to run back to the Pokemon Center. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. All right, preschooler Wendy has a Panseer. Wow, look at all these monkeys. So many monkeys. All right, give it the tackle. I don't know why I stayed in with Tom. It's uh, it's Duchess's turn, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Duchess should be really close to learning that that coveted dark move. So yay. <laughs> Alright, Pantsir is down. Very good. Let's whippy swappy out real fast. Beautiful. Tom the uh, Rocky Helmet. That's fine. And of course, switch Duchess out. Alright, last trainer up here. And no, he does not actually have Hyper Beam. <laughs> I remember uh, laughing actually pretty hard the first time I played here. Where it was just like, go, Hyper Beam! And I'm just like, yo, what? <laughs> Can you imagine? Very funny. Alright, Pan Sage. Hit it with the cut. Cut that small tree on its head. That's what cut is for, right? Don't you paralyze me? Okay, good. You got this, Duchess. You can you can hang in there and do some damage. I know you can do it. I know you can do it, girl. Don't paralyze me. Don't do it. Hey, good. One more. One more. Beautiful. 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 Level 12. Very nice. Yeah, that lucky egg. Gosh, that lucky egg. I love having it this early. It's so nice. It's so, so nice. Uh, Fury Swipes. We will take over Scratch. That sounds good to me. Okay, whose turn is it? I think actually Duchess might be able to stay out here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep. Yep. Everyone's at level 12, so we can just stay in with Duchess. Works for me. Uh, let me heal up with our good lady friend in here, and then we will go and take on Charon. Yet another, yet another Charon fight. Also, I have—I can't believe I haven't mentioned up till this point. Uh, freaking Hilda, though. God, she's so well designed. I really enjoy this this trainer, this uh, this trainer character. Uh, it's so good, <laughs> so good. Uh, as I've mentioned many times in the past, Hilda absolutely top tier protagonist character, absolutely the best. <laughs> I love everything about her design. Alright, Charon, let's go. You got the Oshawott. The Oshawott is here to party. Wow, level 14. Holy cow. Holy cow. I am probably going to need to switch Duchess out, because that's, that's a little strong. That's a little strong. Uh, let's go into Ginger. Give it the Intimidate. That should help a little bit. Get a Water Sport. Waste of a turn, my friend. Waste of a turn. Way to hang in there, Ginger. Very good. I'll just get some points. Uh, do I want some purloin on purloin violence? I think that sounds good. I think that I think that um, Duchess can handle it. I do believe. Oh, sand attack, huh? I wonder if our friendship has increased enough with Duchess yet that return is any stronger than these other moves. I am curious. Nope, still pretty low. Still pretty low. 
Maybe I'll maybe I'll do some wandering around to increase the friendship across the board. That would be that would actually be kind of a smart play. If I um if I do it to increase uh, returns power, not a horrible idea actually. I might do that. <laughs> I might actually do that uh, uh after stream. Ooh, not quite enough to not quite enough to kill with that fury swipes. Feels bad. Feels bad. All right, finish it off. If we if we can break through sand attack, of course. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Duchess. There you go. Oh wow, our, our cat has got some like really nice contact lenses in. Doesn't even care about the sand in her eyes. Doesn't even care. Why do you keep beating me? <laughs> I don't know. I just I liked I like the way he said that. I see. So that's how you battle. Out of the way. Oh no. What was that about? Bianca, why are you running? Hey, wh where were those people headed? That way, but why are you running now? Oh, seriously? They run so fast. Miss, oh, my Pokemon. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Don't cry. Bianca, really? Why were we why were you running? You have to hear about this. Those people stole this girl's Pokemon. You should have spoken up sooner. Lids, we're going to get that Pokemon back. Bianca, please stay by this girl's side. Okay. Um, so yeah, we we can potentially get the encounter. I don't know. I don't remember if it if the the shaking grass encounter has happened yet, or if I have to do the the event first. I think I'm gonna do the event first. I forgot we could also get a wellspring cave encounter. That's also very true. Um. I really want the Audino, though, you guys. I really, really want the Audino, and this is this is definitely a place I know that you can get them. Uh, on the off chance that I do have to do this in this event first, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Um, but it would be really, really cool if we could go ahead and, and get an Audino today. I would be very happy. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's do this thing. They ran inside here, Lid. Your Pokemon's HP is fine. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Let's do it. And let's see, uh, what is a, uh, there's Rog and Rolla, there is, um, Woobat. Do we have both the Woobat? I think we have the full Rog and Rolla line. Uh, we do not have a Woobat, so that is definitely a thing. What about Rog and Rolla? Uh, we have the full Rog and Rolla line, so the only thing that we can get in here is the Woobat, unless we just so happen to stumble across one of those, like, dig spots. Or, not the dig spots, but, like, where, like, the, the Pokemon's, like, popping up out of the ground. Um, then we could get a Drillbur, potentially, but I, I doubt that it will show up in this small amount of space that I have to work with here, so... Uh, ooh. Oh, no, it's, like, literally right where the cutscene triggers. That's lame. <laughs> That's so lame. There's no way it would actually stay there. As soon as I walked up there, it would disappear. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, Rog and Rolla, non-factor. We, we have the full line. Full Rog and Rolla line. Not worried about it. Nope, we're looking for the Woobat. There it is. There it is. We grab ourselves a furry little friend. I have a Woobat plushie and it's adorable. It is quite adorable. Alright, give it the cut. Ooh, that did a lot less than I thought it would. Um, let's try a Fury Swipes then. Uh, how about one more cut, and then we'll throw a ball at it. Alright, here we go. Pokeball go! I'm trying to think of a good Woo Bat name. We already have a Swoo Bat. Um, according to what we have on the, on the Forever Like This Yeah, we have- <laughs> Oh, that's right, we named it Bartok! I forgot about that. Uh, that's after- uh, That's another Yu Yu Hakusho reference, that's cool. Or is it? No, I guess it's not. No, it's, that's Baldock. Baldock is a Yu Yu Hakusho reference. Okay, regardless, Bartok is a cool name. Uh, what should we call this Woobat in any case? <laughs> Does anybody have any suggestions? Yo, actually, this is a bat, and Geeky Bat is a bat. I could call it Geeky. <laughs> do you mind? Do you mind if I name a, a Pokemon after you, Geeky Bat? If I can, I call this Geeky, and it, it could be a reference. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's um, it's very appropriate. Good timing. Good timing. Yo, did you did you just sense it, Geeky Bat? Like you just popped up, popped into the chat. You popped into the chat like literally the moment that I caught a bat. It's it's uh, it's gotta be, it's gotta be fate. <laughs> Okay, oh, Bardock from Anastasia. Yeah, that's right. I, I haven't seen that movie since I was very, very young. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to call this I'm gonna call this, this Woo Bat here Geeky. So, yeah. Uh, you're a cool cat, Geeky Bat. Or you're a cool bat, I suppose. But still. Uh, anyways, yeah, there we go. You have, a po you have a Pokemon named after you in the Forever Lock Challenge. There you are. Um, okay, cool. So, that's the Wellspring Cave encounter taken care of. Let's, um... Mm, I don't know if I want to lead with Duchess here. I guess I could... No, it's a double battle. That scares me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch the item off. <laughs> Geeky Bat says, "I sensed my brethren calling." Nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead with with uh, bacon wrap. I think that's the that's the play to make here. All right, let's do it. Yeah, see, if I had tried to go for that dig spot, it wouldn't have worked. Let's. This bothersome bunch doesn't really listen to reason. Th that child cannot use a Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make you other Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all your Pokemon, so hand them over to us now. Better yet, we'll just take them. Bring it on, you bunch of bozos. Team Plasma Grunt has a Patrat. I love the Team Plasma theme. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, we get the... Oh my god, Bacon Wrap, you're an absolute legend. Holy cow, with these burns. Like, we've... we've it's like 10%, right, on Ember? 10% to burn? And yet we're just landing them left and right. It's great. <laughs> it's so good. Bacon Wrap is, is taking names here. Absolutely taking names. Defense Curl... Uh, we get rollout. That's actually not a horrible idea. I'll get rid of uh, I'll get rid of Odor Sleuth. Get rid of Odor Sleuth. Um, we could potentially do some defense curl rollout games later on if we wanted to. So I will I will humor that idea for now. Well, how can we lose when we have when we have right on our side? Not bad, Lids. Okay, so go return that Pokemon to that girl. You don't need to return it. <laughs> How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, but you actually got in our way to boot. There's two of you and two of us. We'll show you our combined power and teach you what we are, that we are right. So, there were more of them. Still, why are Pokemon robbers acting so self-righteous? Lids, we've been friends our whole lives. We've got each other's backs when it counts. Let's show them how it's done. Yo, Charon. Charon, Charon and I have been friends our whole lives. Do you think he? Do you think he? Um, he levies that whenever there's other other folks around, other 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 dudes around. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, well, we're, we've been friends since we were little. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you feel about that? <laughs> we're super close. You're not super close. <laughs> I like to imagine that Charon's one of those kind of guys. <laughs> All right, let's give it the ember. Way to, way to go, Charon. Way to double up. That's what I wanted you to do. That is absolutely what I wanted you to do. See, Charon, Charon gets it. Charon understands. Holy cr oh, critical hit. That scared me. That scared me a lot. I'm not playing that game. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, why did I do so much damage? Critical hit. Okay, got it. Yeah, finish it off there, Charon. Well done. Sometimes you just gotta trust in the AI, right? Okay, let's finish this last one then. Give it the ember. Ah, oh, detect. Way to waste my time. Wasting my time, Patrat. Oh, come on, Sharon. You had the opportunity. Alright, that's fine. Let's finish it off. Ba boom. Patrat goes down. Level 14 acquired. We're not too far off from that lovely pig knight. I believe it's 17. Uh, the Gen 5 starters, I believe, are level 17 for evolution. We will have a pig knight before too long. Ideally, we'll have one before we take on Lenora. That would be pretty good. 
that would be pretty good. In order to liberate people, or Pokemon, from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Whatever, what a waste of time. Come on, what reason could possibly justify stealing Pokemon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. What do you mean? Trainers are making Pokemon suffer. I don't get that at all. We'll give you the Pokemon back, but be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday, open your eyes to your own complicity. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. Trainers bring out their Pokemon's strength. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what about that makes Pokemon suffer. Okay, lids, I'll return the Pokemon. Cool, let's go get this item over here. I'm pretty sure it's a TM, if I remember right. If I remember right. Get on out of here, Woobat. And we'll come over here and grab... Ooh, Thief! <gasps> Yo, that's a dark move. That's a dark move for our lovely Purloin. We absolutely want that. And it's... it's Is it the same power as Pursuit, or is it stronger? I feel like Pursuit's really weak, isn't it? I don't remember. I don't remember how much power uh, Pursuit has. Point is, Thief. Stab for Duchess. Absolutely a thing I want. Okay, yeah, let's get rid of... Um, I guess let's get rid of Sand Attack. I wish that we didn't have Cut now, but... <laughs> I digress. We gotta work with what we got, I suppose. Um, yeah, very good, very good. Uh, let's, uh... Let's take that Lucky Egg off of Bacon Wrap. We'll give it the... Amulet Coin back. And then we will give Duchess... A Lucky Egg back. There we go. Beautiful. And we can go ahead and organize here. Bacon Wrap is officially stronger than Ginger. Crazy. Crazy. Alright, let's head on back. Rush on past this rock and roll it. As much as I do want to kind of kill it just to get the e the easy level up there, I, I will refrain. I will refrain. Keeping an eye out for those shaking grass patches. I want the Audi though really bad. Blitz, thank you so much. The two of us got our Pokemon back. Or the two of you got our Pokemon back. I'm lucky to have friends like you two. Thank you, miss. Please take these as a thank you present. Yay, we got Heal Balls. I would love to catch an Audino with a Heal Ball. I love that the Heal Ball is like the same um, like color scheme as, as Audino. So I really, really want to catch an Audino with a Heal Ball. That would be really nice. Oh, those are Heal Balls. They completely heal the captured Pokemon on the spot. How sweet of you. I'm going to see this girl on her way. So see you later, Lids. Bye-bye. Okay, see you later. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to quickly heal up. Uh, like I said, I want to try and get an Audino. I want to try and get an Audino. I'll be very excited if we can get an Audino. So, um, I'm going to verify. I'm pretty sure we don't have one. But just so I'm not crazy. Audino. We have... We have no Audino at the moment, which is a shame. That's quite tragic to see 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 us not having an Audino in this in this challenge right now. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. We have to get one. Come on, grass, shake. <laughs> shake, damn it. <laughs> I know you want to. I know you want to shake, grass. <laughs> oh man. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, do I have a repel? That would be really nice if I had a repel. I have a repel. Okay, good. This guarantees us an Audino. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, SBS says, so when we have out, uh, have our battle, is it just going to be a group of Audino? Of course, SBS. I don't have other Pokemon. <laughs> I have no other Pokemon than Audino. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay, cool. Um, Duchess can fight it. That's fine. Let's go, Audino. Oh yeah, there, there it is! Oh, it's a girl Audino too! That's exactly what I wanted! Oh yay! <laughs> Look at her, she's so cute! <laughs> oh, I'm excited! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know I'm probably I'm probably uh, a little more excited than I should be, but I really like Audino, it's so cute! We're gonna get it! I'm very excited. <laughs> the 
few, just a few more here, a few more cuts. I'm gonna whittle it down. I'm not taking any chances. I want the audio. I also want to see if I can get it in the heal ball. That would be really nice. That would be really, really nice to have an audio in a heal ball. Ah, uh, this is. You're gonna laugh if it dies via crit. No, no, don't say that, SBS. You're gonna jinx it. <laughs> You're gonna jinx it. No. It won't happen. It won't happen. This Adido is gonna be our friend. Okay. That's good. Oh, is it holding a berry? It's holding a berry. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna switch out Duchess. Duchess is kind of taking a beating here. <laughs> let me, um... Let me switch out to someone else here. Um... Who wants to whittle you down? Could just heal, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll just heal. I'll just heal. Fresh water. Eh. Yeah, a little fresh water. Let's get get up to full. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, pound. That's fine. Okay. Give it a, another couple of cuts there, Duchess. Temper yourself. Do not go crazy here. Do not go crazy. I just want it in the yellow. That's all I want. Into the yellow. Perfect. I need to heal up again, because we're low on health. And then we're going to throw a heal ball at it. And hope for the best. Oh my gosh, it's Adino! I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so excited! Well, she's so plush! Oh god, I love her! <laughs> I really do like this Pokemon. Okay, heal ball, go! Yay! Oh my gosh, we got it! No! Shush, SPS, we're not using low kick. <laughs> no, no low kick. We we cuddle the Adido. We cuddle the adorable Adido. Oh, it's so lovely. It's so lovely. Oh, what do I want to call her? Oh, I'm so not sure. I'm so not sure what I want to call this lovely little Adido. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. We had Adi. We had Adi before. Sadly, we lost Adi, which made me really sad. We also lost Boopy. Uh, those are the two names that I, I commonly use for Adi now. Uh, what do I want to call her, though? What do I want to call her? Am I going to use it on my team? I can't. Uh, sadly, I can't add it to the team right now. But if anything happens to any of our fully evolved Pokemon, like um, if anything happens to like our Watchog or our Leafeon or, or our Embar, I will absolutely use it. It won't be the smartest play because it won't be a great replacement Pokemon, but I will absolutely use Adi now if we get the chance. Absolutely, I will. I want to get Adino into the Hall of Fame really, really badly. <laughs> uh, what do I want to call her, though? Uh, what do I want to call her? Um, hmm. What's a good What's a good name for Adino? Um, I'm gonna call her. Um, <laughs> audit. <laughs> no, I'm not calling her that. No, no. I want to do something really, really cute. What do I want to, what do I want to call you? How about, I'm so, see, like, with, with my, it's my favorite Pokemon, right? So I'm, like, super, super picky about nicknaming it. <laughs> I always have been. I actually have trouble, I actually have trouble, um, nicknaming Pokemon I really, really like, because it has to, I always want it to, like, fit some, like, arbitrary mold of, like, it needs to be perfect. It has to be perfect. It can't just be anything. It has to be perfect. Um, let's see. How about... Um, I could try and name it something similar to, like, Boopy or Adi. Um, how about... Um, man, oh, I'm so picky. Oh, I'm so picky. Uh, no, I gotta come up with something, though. I gotta be quicker. I gotta be quicker. Um, how about... Ah, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I can't think of anything. This is this is actually kind of embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Um, we're gonna call you. Oh, Oddish. Oh, I see, I see what you did there, SBS. That is pretty clever. That is pretty clever. I'm tempted to just give it like a regular person's name, but I'm I'm having difficulty thinking of like a good name for a good name for it. I mean, I could just name it my name, but I feel like that's kind of vain. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of, like, I could just name it Lydia. 
but that would feel really, really lame, or really, really vain. It would be lame, but it would be, it would be, it would, it would make me feel like I'm, like, bigging myself up, or like, oh yeah, of course, I named my favorite Pokemon after myself. <laughs> um, hmm, how about... Uh, SPS says, uh, call it religion because it's for you. LOL. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call her... Ah, oh, man, I can't... I'm so bad with nicknames. I, I just want a really, really cute name. Um, I'm gonna call her... Ah, I'm struggling. I'm struggling so bad. I'm not gonna spend, like, 15 minutes just trying to come up with a nickname for an Adi now. <laughs> Um, let's see. Fluffernutter? I think we I think we actually used that name before. I think we used that for um I think we used used that name for a for a Flaffy. I think I'm gonna name it in honor of our former Audino, Boopy. I will name her Boopsy. How's that? Boopsy. Yeah, that's cute. That's pretty cute. I like that. <laughs> Boopsie. Aw, oh, I like it. I like it. Welcome, Boopsie. Welcome, Boopsie. Alright, cool. So that's, uh, that is, uh, the encounter for this route squared away. We got an Audino. I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna write that down. Um, uh, yeah, we got it. We also got a Woobat. I gotta write that down, too. Uh, Woobat and Audino. Wonderful. Um, okay, so yeah, that, that is where we're gonna go ahead and wrap up for today. It's actually the perfect timing. Uh, perfect, perfect timing. Um, when we come back tomorrow, um, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be picking things back up. We will hopefully be challenging the second gym leader tomorrow. Um, should be a tough one, honestly. Uh, that uh, The second gym leader does tend to give me a little bit of trouble. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm looking forward to it. Having so much fun with um, returning, returning to Gen 5. Um, should be a lot less grinding going forward, I hope. Because yeah, we spent quite a lot of time today grinding. Uh, kind of absurd, actually. Um, but in any case, um, I am greatly, greatly looking forward to hanging out with you all again tomorrow. Had a lot of fun. I'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.